Are we on this thing? Yeah, I pressed it. We're a little early. All right, it's all right. We're late sometimes, early sometimes. Oh Good my! Good morning, all. My glasses are dirty. Hey, where's my my Raymond Johnson glasses cleaner? Hand <laughs> it to me over there. See it right there. It's your day, honey. It is my day. I didn't realize it was St. Patrick's. It's your Irish day. Hope oh, that morning then too, yeah. Today from TKL Knives, we're going to talk about knives. <laughs> Just a wee bit. Remember when you tried to learn Gaelic? Oh, man. Impossible accent. It's not impossible, but camera wife and camera daughter both fluently speak multiple languages, right? So I'm the retard in the room. <laughs> I, just, I tried, man. Multiple languages. I speak Spanish. One language. But collectively... <laughs> Opus, That's not even that much of an accomplishment. Opus daughter is fluent in Korean That's an and English. You're fluent in Spanish and English. I'm fluent in dumbassery and... Brandon Maple said, morning, Irish brother. Morning, Maple! Yeah, I mean, Tim's last name is Kill. Book of Kills, like, you're totally Irish. Yeah, I'm definitely from, like, religious Irish royalty. <laughs> Sorry, Maples. <laughs> Just no kidding. hangover. Wife's breakfast casserole with Cholula. TKL Knives Live. Great man, I the was, week. Man, Cholula. I make these burritos, right? Um, we uh, Like a traditional southern meal, we'll have pinto beans and cabbage, right? Which is, the cabbage is Irish. But then the leftovers, I make these David, burritos. no puede ser. Tienes que, tienes que hablar español. Yep. Y'all talking about me, man? Isn't it funny how somebody <laughs> speaks a foreign language? They're like, hey, he's over here talking about me, man. That guy, he's talking about me. But anyway, I make these burritos right now. I use a ton of Cholula. They're mm, awesome. Corned beef and cabbage. That's yeah, I man. Man, I freaking, I freaking love it. But I actually, I, I forgot it was St. Patrick's Day because we don't uh, drink let's anymore. Let's pray for John White. He's going into surgery um, in the morning. Yeah, you guys. Fusion surgery. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Has Tim had coffee from Stephen Clayton? I've had my normal coffee, but I did take your advice and grab sugar this time. Literally like seconds ago. She's like, you better get your sugar so I can make my accidental coffee. Does anybody recognize any of the changes in the room? There's been some changes. So a few changes. We're always changing stuff. Actually, we're thinking about maybe doing some more uh, firearms content on Rumble. Once I figure out how to use that. And then perhaps bringing some of these super famous operational dudes that I know in for maybe some interviewing podcasty type of stuff. I don't know. Who knows? You'd be good at that. We might do that. Um, I know a lot of people that are like super famous and people would find interesting. So, Well, super famous in YouTube land. In YouTube land. <laughs> um, well, no, some of them are super famous not in YouTube land. So when you say them to people. I always laugh sometimes when you're talking to people and you like tell them something about like Jason Pike or something like, and they look at you like, who's that? Well, Jason <laughs> Pike is, you know, but. <laughs> but he's famous in YouTube land, but not everybody knows who he is. Well, you know, there's like people, other people that are famous not in YouTube land. So when you tell people that know YouTube about these people, they're like, who's that? Dan Ringman, did you get enough money for the 13 giveaways? Y'all, that was so cool. Man, so many of y'all yeah. donated. I don't think we got enough for the 13, but we came really close and we don't mind. Yeah, I mean, we want we want to give too, but man, we, we got we didn't anticipate any. Like yeah, it was kind of an a on lot the fly. of you, and I don't think right. I don't think most of y'all want your name said, but there was so many of y'all that gave for that. That was really cool. It was super moving, and it's actually kind of prompted some ideas in the background i realized i put uh, complete soundproofing in the whole entire studio so i don't have to yell so it probably sounds like i'm screaming but i feel like oh no, no. i got freaking screaming tkl podcast hell yeah from chad Kalodija. yeah i thought about doing it you know i mean but our and on another note our community the way we rose up like that whole thing with the knives popped up on the live last week and then throughout the week even up until yesterday we had people say hey i want to buy a gift card so then i think midweek i came up with the idea why don't we just tell people to buy gift cards and then allocate it to that so that would be jay blaney says families from county 
Monaghan Castle. Where Antwerp? Blaney is Castle Blaney is located there. Where's that's you? cool. That's where we'll take our first T. Kellyn's road trip, Ireland, because we're from Antrim is on the coast. Is it true YouTube takes thirty percent of super chats? I have not ever looked at that. Have yeah. you? We don't even. Uh, all that that money is probably all sitting over there in YouTube because I don't think I've hey, ever. Hey, Matthew McCann, welcome to Patreon. Thanks for joining. Welcome, brother. Um, I don't think I ever set that up. I should probably look. There's probably like lots of cash sitting over there in YouTube payouts, right? I don't think I ever set I, that up. I don't know. I need to look. <laughs> I didn't have the Patreon thing set up for. Hey, Ben like a Simon year. gave us twenty bucks. For the knife donation. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Ben. So any of the stuff you guys, I think that's what we're going to do. Unless you allocate it, you know, like some people will say, this is for your uh, look less stupid fund. We'll put it in the Tim needs to look less stupid fund unless you want to. Yeah, I think we should set up some kind of something like that for the new website, like some sort of donate. A lot of people suggested that like a donation thing so for, blades, for service people. This whole like that. thing throughout the week has prompted a lot of conversations in the background with um, C-Dub and I, and actually with Jason Pike and with some other local people, we already help this organization. Uh, you guys have seen him on here before David Wright. He does hunt for warriors and that's a local thing, but it actually attracts a lot of veterans and from other service industries, police officers too, injured um, in various forms. They take them on a hunt and they do a lot. We give a lot of blades to them and then. <laughs> Matthew McCann. <laughs> he just made me laugh. Already some tomfoolery on us. <laughs> Hunter's been helping me on Discord behind the scenes. Such a generous seven year old. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I I, I was. <laughs> and then Miss said, "Great seven-year-old." <laughs> Listen, man, I was messing with uh, Pete Sake earlier this week, and he didn't. I don't think he got it at first. And I said, "It's really creepy that you're Instagram messaging a seven-year-old girl." And it was like crickets for the whole day. And I don't think I don't think he put it together. <laughs> Until I had to later, I was hey, like, "Hey, Murdoch's crew, forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> he kill for all donation. Thank you so Thanks, much, guys, man. But that cracked me up. And I don't. He may have been busy, but to me, I think because then later <laughs> I said, you know, because I was screwing with Hunter. Hopefully, Hunter didn't get mad and called him said seven. LOL. So it, it, you know, it was amusing to me. I do a lot of stuff that's really, really funny to me. I think we told the story about me. Screwing with our guy who sharpens the knives. <laughs> he genuinely thought I thought he was on cocaine. No, I don't think we told that story, but oh, you're man. just always inappropriate in your, like, yeah. you'll go a little bit too far to push the envelope. Especially if I see somebody opinion. starting to get a little bit uh, anus hurt. Um, hey, Jonathan Wren, thank you for joining. He's been on Patreon for a couple of days. I remember thanks, seeing your name. Thanks, brother. Zia Survivor, Jason Pike versus Sean Strickland. Did you hear about that challenge? Yeah, I saw that. Actually, there's a bunch of operator tier one dudes um, calling this kid out. And I don't know if you've seen his C-dub. So Sean Strickland is this like uh, UFC dude, right? So you like mm -hmm. cauliflower ear, mashed up nose. Um, I, I don't really know exactly what he said, but the gist of it was I could beat up a Navy SEAL. I train harder, whatever, whatever. So Jason Pike pretty much called him out. I'm going to tell you something, dude. Pike may be a senior citizen. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's watching this. He's not. He's just older than me and gray headed. But that dude will mess your world up. Like he works out constantly, but he's like training style working out too. So like scaling walls, jumping over stuff, still warring it up. So that's a little bit different than, you know, rolling around on the ground half naked with another sweaty dude. That's a completely different type of strength that you get. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he called him out. And then there's been some other seals call him out. You know, it's a whole different story. Yeah, you can stand in a ring and fight, you know, like that's you make your livelihood out of kind of a sport, right? Rather than volunteering to go kick doors in in Kandahar, knowing that people are going to shoot you in the face, volunteering to protect these. I, I actually prayed before the live today to try not to cuss so much because Joey's on here a lot. 
And yes, Joey said hello. I saw that. Hello, before Joey. We, before we started. So I want you to know, Joey, you're impacting my life in a positive way. So thank you for being part of our T. Kellyan family. And I know you didn't say anything, but I just feel like, um, I don't know, I want to be a good representation. So, oh, good, John. I'm glad your night stalker will be there. If you see me st uh, stuttering and stammering, it's because I'm trying not to swear so much. But I'm trying not to speak the language you learned in the Marines. And look, here, <laughs> so before I went in the Marines, I worked on cars and muscle cars and was, you know, doing all that with my dad, classic rock music all the time. And then um, went in the Marine Corps, of course, high school where we grew up was just a bunch of really stupid people. So, uh, the language stayed there and then Marine Corps and then post Marine Corps was going to a bunch of military bases, putting in shooting ranges and stuff. And then Joey says, thank you, Mr. Tim. No way, man. Thank you. You don't owe me a thanks, but you're welcome at the same time. Um, and then railroad for years. So it's not like I ever, but see, C, C dub, if you guys don't know, new to the thing, camera wife, she's super graceful, right? She's like, that's just a language you learn to speak. It's like, I speak Spanish. You speak cussies. It's kind of the same thing. So she doesn't really, <laughs> she doesn't really get mad at me over it or like, Oh, the crazy thing is though, Man, like Steven, what are you doing with all those FLNs? He said, UP, USPS tracker shows my third FLN will be delivered tomorrow. Woohoo! FLN for Steven stands for freaking love knives. If you misspell it a little. Thank you for your service, Tim, from Raimundo. Yeah, I'll, you're welcome, man. I really enjoyed what I did. You know, it was fun. T. Kelly and family would make nice t-shirts. So I actually was talking to my t-shirt guy this week. Uh, I want to come up with a special like T. Kelly and family style t-shirt thing. Um, actually Clayton had a good idea. I really liked it. And I lost the stupid thing. Maybe he can post that on discord. You guys can talk about it. I like those shirts that Neves had on his. Just see that? Fell in. That was cool. Man, that was, those were cool. I was, I really, I was like, I hey, need the shirt. Morning, Jimbo. Morning, sir. Howdy, Stuart. Hola. Hola. Come west. I love doing that to people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even a southerner. I guess by upbringing, I'm a southerner. So yeah, uh, the 13 knives actually it ended up being 14 or 15 because there's a couple people that, you know, there was some confusion. They thought they entered and things like that, but um, yeah, we've shipped a good many of those already, yeah. probably six or eight of them. So if you want the knife, you're it's coming soon. Yeah, Justin Lebo, get more red cap shirts, man. They're expensive. We They're, didn't make any money look, on man, those at all. Look, we literally put those on there for what they cost us to have made and embroidered. But they are but if freaking want them, awesome. We'll get some more. Look here, Lebo. I designed that shirt, and I thought it was freaking rad. And then they came in, and camera was like, that is totally not your style. I'm like, but I love them. <laughs> you know? And it, it used to be. I mean, I used to wear some of that all the time. You know, I had had those mechanic shirt and the, and the wide uh, handkerchief, and the I'm thinking the jesse james style you know what i'm saying but um casey we've been shipping the night stalkers it, they most of well a lot of no them a gone. lot um and then we got the other we finished up 164 sheaths and now we're sanding them to shape and buffing those and shipping out we should a bunch of night yeah, so I, I would think that probably people with night stalker orders would probably i'll go out within the next couple of weeks yeah you? yeah i think so because all we're waiting for was the black screws if you guys so i know some of you probably feel slighted that you got the all copper or brass screws because we're waiting for them to be blackened but holy crap look at them black <gasps> stunning they're stunning and uh yeah we did kind of mess up on the uh hawk sheets they have too thin of a thing to put the what the uh, thing of the thing? Did you with order the... any more black hats? They're they're sold out, and they have been. I have a back in stock alert because I order them two hundred at a time. So that's if you see that come through for rapid dominance, see the but let me know and order two hundred. Like um eight zero three seven. He was asking about the ABL piranhas and nitro V combatants from the January first. Will they ship before May? 
Well, the piranhas are finished. Oh, there's also a little confession about the piranhas. So, um, they're not actually AEBL. They're all Nitro V and AEBL. So, I didn't order the right quantities of steel. And when we started making it, I was like, why do we have twice as many in Nitro V? And my machinist goes, because you didn't give me any in AEBL. So, there's 50 people that are going to get Nitro V. But let me tell you the story about that. That steel is the same exact composition, AEBL and Nitro V. The only difference is they use nitrogen to evacuate the oxygen from the furnace when they make it. So performance wise, no difference. Heat treats the same, steel composition the same. One just sounds really neat. Cheryl, do you need some suspenders? They are active on the website. And we also added the CG version of those, the combat or what do we call them? Heavy duty? I don't know. With the DCC clips. And we only upcharge those because the DCC clips are considerably more expensive than the plastic clips. But I still wear the plastic ones. Yeah, and Bertha, he plans on showing those leather sheets. He, he did bring them. Simmer down, Berto. Oh, no. Oh, no, Chad. I hope they, they uh, give it to you. If not, let us know. What? Well, Oh, the mail person put the package in the wrong mailbox. Oh, no. And then you're going to go try to get it, and they're going to fight you. Um, Yeah. What would be a deep, good deep concealment knife in place of a gun for use when traveling and don't want the hassle of flying and having to check a firearm from EF? I like static line carry of a Night Stalker because you can tuck it all the way down, and just the ring is out. And then you can just pull that out. And then when the static line catches, you don't have a bell clip, none of that. That's what I like. I like I like static line carry for deep concealment a lot because it'll kind of tuck away in that femoral artery area, kind of right in that little pocket. Deep carry, static line. Master Bilbro, what type of knife was it on your trainer? Yeah, I thought we cleared that bin out. We shipped it. Um, and also, can you give a brief update on all the FL on, FLN orders? Okay, so listen. The final FLNs from the flipping October launch that was only going to be a month, uh, oops, are done and at heat, treat, and or nickel boron. So. Can we just be honest about what happened? We I thought we have been. <laughs> we screwed. Well, I'm saying we kind of screwed up some of the sharpening. On oh the yeah, a lot of the, it's and sitting out in the shop just beyond this brick wall. Are I don't know, like a hundred that I just could not get the flipping sharpening down. I just couldn't get so it. We had to start a whole nother. We had to start a whole nother round. Batch. So if you ordered later on, that's the delay. Yeah, and also. Uh, we had one dude that was going to be sharpening them, and then we had to go, I think we had to go down to middle Georgia for something and left the dude sharpening without checking it, and we got back, and there's like. Yeah, Jesse screwed up a bunch of them too, right? Yeah, we all screwed a bunch up. Yeah, so, we, we were new to sharpening. Huh, uh, now we have the, the process down, but then Jared did his video yesterday, if you guys saw that, where he recommends putting a 20-degree angle on that. Um, I like a pressure cut and a up close and personal type of blade. So a pressure cut, you just put a little pressure on it and it pops open real wide. And Jared likes a slicer. So he recommended that people put that 20 degree on it. And that 20 degree is tough. And it'll take you a long time, man. But yeah, I watched him sit there and use that wicked edge for days. probably a week long, yeah, straight up, up eight up. hours a day. I didn't even... I didn't even see the guys. I was like, look, I'm yeah. just leave me alone. I'm sharpening all day, nonstop. Um, what about so, so do you think the black ones will be done first? Those FLN blooms? Those ones with the messed up sharpening or I mean we can, but they look terrible. <laughs> they look awful. Somebody could just sharpen them themselves. You use them as to. wind chimes. I don't know. How's the night guards looking? We haven't started those yet. We, we actually started them this week. So we started night guards. We're wrapping up the threes. Yeah, from the we did get your process. Raider, Brandon Maples. Yeah, um, the Raider he sent in for sharpening. Yeah, it's I have I have to give it. I have to take it to the shop and get it in process. 
Miss Told's like, how bad could they be? They're bad. <laughs> yeah, you're going from a 27 degree angle to a 20. Everybody's talking about Discord. Hey, what's the Discord? Yeah, what's the uh, rules of engagement over there? Because I jumped on it. over there. If and we was sometimes like, jump on, I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm like intruding on their private conversation. Yeah, is about that it. like, is that, <laughs> or is that supposed to be eyes off? Do we need to delete the Discord account. Are we welcome? Or I don't, I don't have any idea. I kind of felt like, oh, was I supposed to do that? Yeah, are we supposed to come over there and look at y'all talking? <laughs> it's just like members only, <laughs> seven year olds only. <laughs> but I don't know. Freelance Discord makes me feel old as. Old AF. I couldn't even <laughs> figure it out. Look, and Rumble makes me feel like that too, man. Uh, like, Hunter says we're allowed to chime in. Chime in. Okay. When you guys want our opinion, you'll give it to us kind of thing. Sort of. I don't know. I don't know how it is. I just know that. Uh, they said we're, we're allowed to do it. But a lot of people are asking for help to learn how to use the uh discord and then when you were talking about static line a minute ago somebody asked if you could show it i don't think i have a sheath set up static line in here nope it's real wild bill that is a real drop it's not an april fool's joke that's why it says don't get fooled at the top and then we got some like super superstar people responding to the email for a cosmic best place to ask you guys about an issue with a product you can email or call Whatever you want to do. Yeah. I mean, they're they're pretty rare. So we're kind of open about stuff. So The camera queen. Wow. Oh, hmm. I got an upgrade. Yeah. She was just a bean the queen. The camera the queen day. makes these videos worthwhile. Thank you. Yeah. That's what I say, too. That would be pretty terrible if she, was, if she wasn't in the videos. No. Tim's the real star. No. I just stand here and be an idiot. I don't know. It's kind of <laughs> cool how... It's evolved into this like documentary. Oh, Discord is for creators to chat with their patrons. I didn't know that. So we're supposed to be over there talking to them. So we went from being allowed by that chick hunter to we're supposed to be. What's... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know. I was I was telling C Dub this week. I really like other people's lives are completely like live broadcast. Their lives are different from ours, and their live broadcast too because. Ours are brutally honest. Brutally honest, and it's like it's uh, <laughs> I'm so hyper and like duh, 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 everywhere, and I wouldn't be able to focus on my own, and I couldn't do the 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 questions and the look, and the, I just can't. And so it ends up being like this documentary style interviewer interviewee kind of thing. It's neat. It's like reality TV style, you know, where they. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll just stop talking because I feel stupid. Also, <laughs> I was going to... Are you ready to show off some stuff? Or well, I'm it... thirsty and it's going to accidentally make me show Bob off some stuff. De Kima. De Kima. I'm sorry, I'm not saying your name right. Tim's the face and Camera Queen is the brands and beauty. Oh, yeah, baby. she is the brands and brains. She's, she's the wheat checks and the pretty part. Joey says, does Mr. Tim know the price sticker is still on his cap? I just I just put this one on today. It's got the little sticker up under there. I can see it. Oh look, here's here's what happened. So I thought this looked cool up here. But thanks, Joey. Camera wife would have let me stay like that. I have people like walk around my whole life. Only oh, one decent human on this entire thing. Beastie Boys 45. He's right. My wife is jealous of CW's voice. <laughs> Man, I am the I'm so jealous of Tim. I'm like the worst jealous wife ever. Like, oh yeah, girl, man. Girls better not be talking to Tim. Yeah, they we don't we don't do that either. Trouble. Either one of us. Like, <laughs> you come up and hug Tim, I'm gonna get mad. Yeah, y'all y'all gonna think we're freaking weird, but I'm actually like though a lot of girls did hug you at Blade Show, and I let them. But, uh, but it's like, look though, boys, girls. But look, when if it's like a waitress at a restaurant and they're like, Hi. Let, let, let them touch my hand. See what happens. They will leave with a steak knife and I'm in their you, body. I don't like you calling him honey. Yep, she will. Straight up. We were in the drive through <laughs> at the Taco Bell up the road. And she goes, um, don't be calling my husband honey. And we're in the South. So it happens, right? Well, no, it was baby. I think it was oh, baby, yeah. honey. Is that okay, baby? <laughs> honey, baby. That's a Southern thing, right? To some people. But um, they, don't, they don't fly in a kill household. Actually, <laughs> real talk. Before we leave the house... 
we'll step out on the concrete and we'll just pee on each other's boots. Just, well, she doesn't pee like this. She, well, but I kind of have to put mine under, but still we mark our territory. You know what I'm saying? I totally made that up. Our neighbors would really be on CW, are you that. Mexican? Are the Mexican women jealous? No, she's, she's, <laughs> I mean, no. I don't think of any descent. You're like, Pace is a you English? Know. Yeah, it's just <laughs> you like know, all like, the... You're a mutt like the rest of us, I guess. Yeah. But no, she speaks Spanish because she wanted to learn Spanish. Would you do Bounty Hunter, Star Wars, Boba Fett, Colored Grips, Boba Fett? Yeah, I did a couple. Actually, the Cerakote guys we used to use, they do some freaking killer work. Tim and CW are freaky. <laughs> <laughs> Start the rumors. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, that was a total lie. But to say we're jealous of each other. So I'm, I'm sticking to mf -er if he's hugging on my wife. And she's choking a hoe. If she's hugging on her husband. That's just what's happening. That's how we are. Remember that Medea line, one eight hundred slap that hoe. Yeah. <laughs> so Miss is, is that what it was? I forget. Slap a hoe. Slap a hoe. Yeah. Remember that? That was the thing in the Marine Corps. I don't know, like from a slap. You're from that tribe, the slap a hoe tribe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, dude. Blown Deadline makes some great looking Star Wars Cerakote jobs, and they do yes. a great job on the Cerakote in general. Yes, they do. The uh, the the knives we had them do were awesome, and I want to send him. No, his glasses are cute, Beastie Boys. Yeah, Beastie look. Boy. What they say about them? See if I agree. <laughs> I don't even notice, and my wife gets mad if a woman is looking too long. She Mexican. <laughs> yeah. Is it, is it allowed? Am I allowed to do this? If they're Jealousy means you still care. Yeah. I mean, God is jealous of us. I'm jealous of my husband. <laughs> I'm just doing this I stupid. I don't share them with nobody. No, no, we don't play that mess. Look, <laughs> Lee made these. Mistold. He was mistold and made these. But it's like a sock. Um, and you already ate all that jerky he sent too. I know. <laughs> and the cat tried to steal it from you. Bro, I about killed this cat. That's that wild ass gray cat that runs around like this feral freak of nature. Like you walk into the room and this cat stays in the basement shop because she's crazy. She is crazy. And like you walk in in the morning, she's like. <laughs> You know, this thing's finna F me up. It's the weirdest animal. I've never seen such a strange animal. And then, like, you come in, it'll do like this and go stand by the wall. Like, what is wrong with you? But anyway, um, yeah, so I came in to give it its little nighttime snacks before bed lights out. And there's freaking mistold jerky all over the floor. I about stomp that cat into oblivion. Did you eat all of Ron Nizzy's jerky yet? I have saved, see, those two bags. You're probably <laughs> trying not to eat it all. Because our older daughter freaking loves it. And I'm trying not to eat it all. Kitty is plotting his world takeover. I know, man, that, <laughs> that jerky. Lunch. But it was awesome, BTW. It's like traditional style where, and you apologize for the chew, but I like the chew. I love that style. Like, that's what I'm used to. But this... Cat. Anyway, so Lee made these, right? Made from plastic that is captured from the ocean, but they're made in America koozie things. I don't know if they actually keep your drink warm, but the best thing to do is to wear them like a power band and then stroke people in the face. That's your best thing. <laughs> so the last thing they remember is that TKL bowed them in the gum. But anyway, there's this one, and I've been using it a lot, and then he built this. For a bottle I one? I know you love those mouse pad things he sent me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love those. So this one for a bottle. And he sent me a he million of them. He called me down here to see them. These things are so... <laughs> I was going crazy over these mats. So if you guys want some, he sent a bunch of them. Um, we'll do some giveaways on them too. Why not? Because they're red and black. And green and black. So... C-Dub's favorite color is red and black. And my favorite color is OD green and black. So he knew what he was doing. Or it was an accident. And then he made these cool chokers for Sig Sour. These things are awesome. It's not a choker. I know. It's a, 
I, these are pretty rad too. Every one of these I've given away to someone. Like, you should sell these. But, you know, um, no copyright infringement here or anything, right, Lee? You got full express written consent to do this in their colors and all this stuff with the little registered trademark. Bottle one fits up to a wine bottle. You shouldn't really be drinking the whole wine bottle all at once. Just saying, What's your bro. favorite color is red and black as well. Okay. Quit. We just talked about flirting with my wife and what <laughs> happens to you. If you do this stuff, this will become it's a choker. crazy. Even my great grandmother's favorite colors were red and black. And she had like all red and black. I mean, house. truthfully, though, if I'm going to choose one color, what is it going to be? That I wear all the time. Everything oh, I buy. Black. Yeah. Black is like my number one. And it's. It was my favorite color for most of my life. And I always told people blue because I thought black was creepy to be well, my Matthew favorite Matthew McCann color. says my favorite color would be black and turquoise if you let me get one of them Night Stalkers. No, no, those don't even exist. Ugh. Yeah, I was actually going to talk about those. There's 85 sets. I'm going to give away one. Yeah, we're giving away a Night Stalker with that on there. Mm -hmm. But basically because... Stinky Stripe Brown, no. We should... <laughs> Lee, couldn't you put a brown stripe no. on one of these? We're yeah, gonna yes. show how juvenile we all are. We have to be. I mean, we're clean juvenile though. <laughs> so let's get to the real awesomeness. So these are mouse pads. Most people don't know what a computer is. It's like a bigger version of your phone, and there's this thing called a mouse pad before you used to touch the screen to do everything. So um, there's also a woodland camo one, but it's over there um, on the on on my work. Well, this is my office bunker. Whatever. Uh, the coolest things on the planet are these freaking gun mats. So I'm just going to drop them on the floor. That one. This could just be wall art. And then let's save the best for last. Holy shit, Lee. Yeah, he goes, he goes, he knows me. I said, this dude knows me because all three of these are exactly what I would want. We have got to sell these. Would you guys buy them? We won't mark them up just enough to cover shipping or what the heck ever. John Fowler, as I sit here on computer doing a &P and listening to missed it. Sorry. Oh, these are awesome. And look, she said, do people use those? And I said, come here and look. I have this really people long. People like them. People are saying they'd buy one. Yeah, man. This one is my absolute fave. I'm pretty sure I'm going to wear this as a breech cloth on the next video we do. Gross. Just that. <laughs> Can we? No breech cloth. <laughs> And we would be banned. This one's my fave. I like this one too. This one too. But anyway, she asked me if people actually use these for gun cleaning mats. I said, come here and look. So I have this long seven foot, well, it's seven by seven foot big ass bench out there. People in the are asking shop. for a gun mat giveaway. You probably don't want to give away the, one of those. Though. I know who makes them so I can get more. So we can give these away. But you want them. Only if Miss Told can. Won't you more. make me more of them? Can you make more? Of course, I can make more. <laughs> That's his business. That's what he do. <laughs> Y'all want me to give one away right now? Sure, why not? The breech cloth just touched my teats, though. I don't know if you want that one. You guys, yeah, yeah. Look, I'll, I'll grab the mouse pad too. It's the Shizer. It. Look at it. Look at it. Just look at it. But we're going to give away one. But it's of like, the big you, ones, right? you know, he he knows what he's doing because he put this in front of and then put a shadow around it. And from having to do a lot of graphic arts work, that makes that logo pop. But Woodland Camo, come on, Lee. Goodness gracious. Awesome work. Those are my faves. But he'll have to make me other ones because. Um, I got to We're going to give away one of these things. I've, I've put the word up here. It's hashtag loincloth. <laughs> Look, the insanity never stops. You are we giving all three of them away? No. Or your choice of one? You can pick one. But yeah, get with me on pricing. And yes, quit crying about the stupid challenge coins and just make them. Gosh. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he knows what I'm talking about. So I think that's all the stuff he sent that and the jerky. This Stupid cat. Tried to kill. It's the funniest hashtag ever. 
Hashtag loincloth. Yeah, but and you'll never say hashtag stinky stripe. We know that's not happening. I might. Freelance said hashtag fig leaf. <laughs> yes. Hey man, make them in a fig leaf with the tea kettle under the twig and berry. That'd be perfect. You guys, nobody reacted to these, I guess. Yeah, I thought they People were. People are loving the gun mats. Yeah, Lee, don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, and we give these away too if you guys want. But I'm keeping some of them too. I got to hang them on the wall. Um, I don't know if he's on, and I'm not gonna say his name. Good friend of mine, Will. You just said his name. I'm not saying his last name. There's a oh. million Wills in the entire world. Made these, makes these. His wife actually makes I, them. They've made us like. Probably close to 20 pair, and I cherish them so I'm much. I'm telling you, these are only on loan from C-Dub. Even our daughters love them, and it's like, she's like. They have a background, like a, where is she from, or what was her background? Native American. Yeah, and she made those. She knows how to do it like that. Look at these way. freaking things. Made us a bunch of earrings. They're really pretty. I'm telling you, like, she prizes these things. And I said, let me just show off their handiwork. On the thing, I don't even know if they sell them, but he, all these colors, these intricate patterns, I have no idea how in the heck they do them. Little ones, big ones, if small they ones. Sell them, we should tell people, but I don't know. If I know them. that they take her a long time to make, a long time. Um, but they know I that. Put it on Tim Matthew McCann said. What is it? Right is wrong. Do I these holes? You have an ear hole still? Yeah, they still go through there. I think. Yeah, I got it. Oh yeah, you y'all want to know something crazy? Tim had gauged ears. Sure did. That is the craziest thing. Does not fit his personality. Ta da! Honey, take that off. It wouldn't go through the back. And take it off. Face is all red from trying to stab it through there. Like our little seven-year-old, eight now actually almost nine. Man, lazy that hurt. squall beadwork is that what it's called? But um, some of these patterns are like super intricate. But these are, she would kill me if I lost them. Um, Matthew McCann, I still have gauged ears. Well, I guess you do too because they don't close up. Yeah, I guess the back of this left guy, though, freaking closed up. Man, that shizer hurt. I got a little bit. <laughs> Look, though, you know why they're pierced? Because I was an idiot in high school. And that was super like, you can't do that. So I like broke bad and used a fake ID and went and got a tattoo at a super young age. And my parents almost effing killed me because it was, you know, everybody's got them now. But I was the first, like all these people in school were like, that's not a real tattoo. I'm like, yeah, it is. This ain't correct and sniff, dog. This is I was the same because I totally pierced my eyebrow in high school with a paper clip. I, I had and they made me take it out. Yeah, I'm so mad. I had three jobs in high school because I didn't want to drive a piece of crap car. I worked, I you know. I started working when I was way too young to work. Um, and my one, my second job was a Ed, janitor at a hospital. We're doing Blade Show yeah. in June, first yeah. week of June, yeah. first weekend of Woo, June. Man, that's coming up quick. I want to do shirts for that and for our stinky striped shirts. No string. I'm just going to wipe myself on shirts and say, no. yeah, Gross. I'll sterilize them. Um, but I took a hypodermic. Because I worked at a hospital. It wasn't, wasn't a hospital. Like hey, y'all enter thing. this little and I giveaway. Did it myself. And, I'm and about to do the drawing. They're still there. I used to like take a broom, like a, a straw from a broom and stick it through there because I didn't think my dad would see. Who had long hair and earrings when he was younger, but would kill me if I did, which was kind of weird, but whatever. But he made me grow up listening to classic rock and stuff. So what do you think? You think I'm not going to be a rebel? You know? Darren Strong. Darren! Took hey, is you, that our friend? Yeah, it took you freaking long enough to find us over here. Gosh. He's a longtime customer. Yeah, he apologized for waiting to be on Patreon. But I it's uh, totally you don't okay. have to join Patreon. Yeah, you guys don't have to do that. But we want you guys to use your discount code so that you don't actually mm -hmm. hey. Darren, let us know which one you want. Oh, Darren won. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I know, I know he's a fire and sky too, so he'll use that one. Uh, don't you know? So, are you going to show off any of your, your cool new stuff no. that you brought? No. Uh, Joseph Pelicano wants to know when the Raiders are going to ship. We haven't started them yet. 
they'll be closer to that four or five month mark. People that got night stalkers and night hawks. Night stalkers, night hawks, CGs are about to start going out. We've got to wrap the sheets up on those. The V3s are almost done with beveling. And then we've got another machine that's doing um, night guards right now. Ryan, you, you we can give you a refund. What happened? He just says he never uses his discount code. Show the new finish. What new finish? I don't know. I don't know what new finish we're talking about. If there were a new finish to show, I would show a new Um finish. oh, the Skinners. Night guards. Who who knew about the Skinner? Um Piranhas anytime soon. I missed the boat. We're going to have some more for release on April 1st. Yeah, and look, quit sending hate mail because we're announcing our quarterly drops that we do and go, what? I'm still waiting for the rest of my life. We do quarterly drops because we're slammed and it takes that long to make them. Thank so you, Ed Barkley. We Thank release you. them quarterly and you get them in three to six the months. The reason why Tim is saying that is because we sent an email this morning. Man. And he was in a bad mood because... Hateful. It's it's, it's not that an people... announcement of the next drop, and so we'll get a bunch of emails immediately back from those. That's like, well, I haven't even gotten my knife yet. And look, asking a question is one thing, but doing the YouTube troll like blah, 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 reactionary, blah, be an adult. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand people being, but I look, have some bearing, have some discipline. And some people just truly don't understand it. So Those people insane. ask, though, but some people, you know what I'm talking so, about. So, if you ordered in January, you're going to get your knife within the time frame. And then when we announce a new. Thing, Which will be within the time stock. frame. They're going to have to wait, too. See, six months is half of a year, right? And half of a half is a quarter. We drop knives quarterly. So, some of the blades will be released for another six month wait while the other ones are in process so that we can keep up with all the blades. I don't mind the emails of people that genuinely say, Hey, I saw the email just checking in to see where we're at in the process or whatever, but don't be rude. I have to answer the emails because Tim will write something terrible. <laughs> it's I'm telling you, man, we're so nice to people and I do not understand like it's like a YouTube comment. Like you would not say that to a human. Roz, I don't think people read anymore. I, I don't really do because you wouldn't believe we can make it as bold as possible and we still have people not understand. I don't even want to mention the new website, but <laughs> it it's going to say on the button pre-order. And actually the website is done. The only thing we're waiting yeah, for Yeah, wow, Bill, I saw his draft to somebody this morning. She said, "Do <laughs> not said, send that." It said, "I'm canceling your order." I was like, "No, do not send that." Because they were freaking rude, like straight up rude. Like, man. Some of these people, man, I don't understand it. Like we're honest. What do you think the gun mats will sell for? Well, we have to ask uh Lee what they cost and yeah, I typically it's like for. when we get stuff from his company, we just do enough for carrying costs, you know, like for for web hosting and shipping. I don't read shit. I just saw the blade and said, yes, please. Yeah, I think that happens. People get excited. And they order. They don't really read it and they think it's in stock. Yeah, well, I, I like, get it. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get that. I'm understanding. That's how you shoot yourself in the face when Look, you're cleaning the gun. People are giving us our, their money. I'm understanding of any issue they have because the customer is going to always be right. I I agree with the sentiment, but I don't think it's right to be rude to somebody because you have a keyboard. If I can be disciplined enough to be nice to you when I have an issue, can't you just be a human? Like I don't stop being a child. Thank you, Adam. I don't get it. But see, like whoever that was that said, I don't reach it. I just ordered the knife. Hey, and Josh L. 99.99. Lunch. Yeah, lunch. Thank so you so not much. Not for other stuff. Not for my mental health project. Uh, Jacob asked if the mercenary will have the AEBL, AEBL option. Yes. So let me circle back. So whoever said, I don't reach it. I just buy it. So like if you reach out and go, it's been... It's been two months. I didn't he get said it. He was kidding. I know he was, but I'm saying you would reach out and say, 
I was checking out my order and then we would say, Hey, here's the deal. And then you're 99% of the time you would say, Oh, I overlooked that. No big deal. Thanks for letting me know. But there's that small 1% of people that'll be like, well, bleh, false advertising. I'm like, you know, like even if you didn't read and we send to you a cordial thing that explains the process, most people more than more than 99% will say, Oh, I didn't realize that. I don't read shit. I just ordered, but thanks for the update. Cool. Move on. The real problem is the website says two weeks. Um, I think I know what you're talking about. I think what happens is shop. The top of the spends... website says, please allow at least two weeks for delivery for in stock blades. Nothing is ever in stock. And when it's a pre-order, it says pre-order in like this, like this. Let me, let me do what we do when I'm just, I'm on the website. Just so you know. Let's go to Night Stalker, for example. It's hard to get make it clear, so we apologize for... But how do you make it more clear than bold yellow? Yeah, but you have to understand that there's always going to be people that don't see I've it. tried a million different ways to communicate it. So the thing at the top says, um, hey, may nice. Even a blade shows inside, it will take at least two weeks to process, build, and ship your order. If it's in stock. So I don't know how to communicate this is a pre-order reservation three to six months for delivery versus if it doesn't say that, then it's in stock and you just. Pew, 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 pew. Um, how are we looking on the new piranha sheets? Are we? Oh, we're trying to make the stupid molds for them, but man, here's the thing. <laughs> Getting the aluminum. Oh, let me just say, if you have a, a piranha order right now and you want it now, we could probably ship it now. Yeah, we, the they're all thing, built. We're just waiting on trying to get the new sheets done. We have a ton the of the old sheet sheets. The current sheet is a good sheet, but there, we've done some improvements to it. and we're. I wanted that really it. hardcore like click in there, like click. Um, yeah, so there won't be as much confusion because we've outgrown our Shopify website and they try to hold $100,000 because they hate us, whatever. Um but it will say Anthony kitchen. You mean you want to help us with our customer service? He said, I'll do customer service for blades. <laughs> yeah. But if you did customer service, like I do, when I get irritated by the 0.5% of people, then you probably get fired. Are any FLNs going out this week? I know that the black are almost done. Yeah. So we're doing the blackening process on those, but nickel boron few, takes two uh, weeks. We do have a few ringless left that we haven't shipped yet. And those are waiting on, some of them are waiting on some, some like grips. black. Man, we sold a bunch of black mm -hmm. grips. You can chat, you can reach out. Yeah, for sure. We're always honest about it. Maybe you need a window liquor tab in your site. Well, that, or maybe he means ticker, like one of those tabs. I don't know. Yeah, I'll take any suggestions because we're done with the new website. Now we're waiting on the company that, so... I had this cool idea to do a blade builder where you click on it and it changes the handle colors and Make all that. It so it first goes to a page that has big bold letters, not in stock may take up to six months. Do you accept? And you have to click it. Yeah. What that will be similar to how it flows. Hey, Adrian, I'll just put an order in for you on the new um, site. for the new sheath and we'll just send it to you when they get done. They're you're, not done yet. You're limited by your capabilities of whatever your web host will allow. Right? So, Shopify is a plug-in based website. So you can't hard code anything in there. Now, my web dev guy can hard code, but Shopify doesn't let you hard code. So then you have to go out and find the application that does exactly what you want it to do that plugs into Shopify. And when you do that, it breaks so much other crap on your website. And it is, it, it sounds simple as, hey, pop up and acknowledge that you're over 18. And hey, a pop up that you do this and hey you understand this but getting that to integrate and work well and play well with all your systems like i built the first two websites so the, the one you see now and the previous one but the new one is so advanced that i had to get a guy hey everybody wants to see the apache i don't have that yes you do <laughs> but we're talking about websites it's almost it is done um we had to get the international taxing and ddu stuff squared away with the tax company that's done and now the blade builder now we're associating all the pictures with all the different ones and there are 100 files per knife 
I like Speaking how the, can of the old the piranha camera. sheath. I can give away a piranha with the existing sheath. Can we kill that? Interested in that? Can I kill that? That tremor was not an earthquake. It was the stupid cat slamming into the tripod because it's stupid and it's screaming. Um, okay, Apache, you guys want to see it on my personal? Here we go. It's looking all gray because it's like really light right there. It's really bright. So it's hard to see the true color. That's a lot better. That's it. So it's turquoise, like a robin egg blue turquoise color ish -ness. I freaking love it. And with the black screws, it looks awesome. Black screws are done. BTW. So we have 3,500 of them finished in black nitride. Yay. Thanks, Adrian. We love those meals. He's Was that enough? Us some backpacking meals. Was that enough? Seeing it? Yeah. It's through the awesome. CG. So you guys see how low this grind is? And can you show the, the new sheath with the black rivets? Uh-huh. I'm still carrying the... Uh... Justin Lebo says, what's that available on? Right now, we just have it for the night series. We have a limited amount. Are you going to do like a special run or is it going to be a color forever? It's good. I, th I think as much as people like it, I'm going to do it forever. So I think it's awesome. There's the new black rivets. Black rivets, black screws, Apache grip. So this is how the new sheets are going to be looking too. Some of you guys on that first run got the brass rivets. Sorry, that's just kind of how progress works. We just well, like, they all kind of like turn, don't they? Turn over eventually. Time? All your rivets are going to end up turning brass because that's just what they do uh, industry wide. That's what they do. Adam, do you have one on order? If you do, yeah, we can add that to it. But I think in all the Patreon people could have first dibs on it. We could do that. Yeah, that's the, the that's what we do with uh, Patreons. Look, there's there's eighty sets. 80, 78 cents. <laughs> because Maybe we could just post and let people buy the grips. Yeah, I'll just lock the them. I, I can put that, that little code lock and we'll just do that. But Cheryl says he loves the brass rivets. Yeah, I, I do too. People do like them a lot. Yeah, so I, from a logistics standpoint, it doesn't make sense for me to offer both because... We got a like assembly line style, make a bunch of sheaths, and then I don't know which ones are going to sell most. Maybe we could give people the option of both, but with our whole like concealability thing, the black kind of fits in theme. We're going to give that knife away today too. That'll be our crown giveaway. At the Was the person the who had purchased this with this engraving a patron? Oh yeah, show that. It, I forgot it has that engraving. Yeah, show that engraving. It was a. Uh, we did the engraving and then we realized this knife had a scratch uh, in the very back, but it wasn't, it's not a bad, bad blemish. Uh, you can't see it. Why? It's just too bright. <laughs> it's, a... it's not, it's too bright. It's just showing the, the bright light. Is that better? There you go. If you can see, it says prevention prevent, prevents regret. And there's like a little scratch on the spine. I don't know if you can a see tiny that. scratch, so it became a blemish. I don't even know. The scratch is under the nickel boron, so I have no freaking idea how that even happened. I don't know. Like some of the FMFs did that too, and nickel boron is like in the '80s in the Rockwell. So if it were an edge, it wouldn't it's cut. A CQC, it. yes. Yeah, CQC. A Piacci. Uh, Jason Whitson, I do believe we have Hades for the Raider. We just never... That was the first color Hades ever came yeah, out Yeah, we just have never added it to the website. Yeah, all but that if crap it, is... You can get it. Just send us an email or message us. Somebody asked about the Skinner. I thought that was top secret. We've told them about the Skinner. But did they know that I was making changes and developments to it and going to show off the resin model today? No, they. there's no way they would know this. Tell them. Unless Hunter really is our seven-year-old daughter. Is it is. bad that I wear my T-Kill knife hoodie to church? LOL. No, it's good. As long as you're not worshiping T-Kill more than you are Jesus, you're in the clear. <laughs> right? So, that, that's... Will my black CG come with the black hard... Will my Night Stalker CG come with the black hardware? On the sheath? Or the, are you talking about the screws? You're going to have to send us an email. 
because they weren't ready at the time of order, so we didn't have the provision to put. Yeah, that if you in. have a current order, you're you're probably going to get the gray unless you tell us. Oh, Otherwise, you have to email us. It's going to create a logistical freaking nightmare. Yeah, it's going to be a pain but in the butt. We'll, but we'll, we'll deal with figure it. Figure it out. Yeah. Um, what do you want me to show off next? All hail our stinky stripe overlords, <laughs> from Carl Ballesteros. He hates that phrase, and I think it's awesome. Not an overlord, but I think I actually it does kind of smell like I did already. Stinky Gross. stuff. In here. It just happens though, because we're humans here. Is is Umberto on? Was he able to stay awake long enough to? Are you still on, Umberto? He wanted to, you to show off the sheets. That, that's what I'm going to do. Really like those. That's what I'm going to do. So I've been talking with Lewis in the background a lot. So Lewis. We found out about him from Umberto, and so this is his company, Delta Sheets. So he makes these little pocket carry, deep carry style sheets. So Umberto had one made for him because this guy doesn't ship overseas and said, Tim, I think you should check them out. So right now he uses Ulti Clips, and you guys know how I feel about Ulti Clips. So the red and black is freaking rad, but look how thick. Well, you like Ulti Clip Company. Yeah, as a company, and that. I like the dude that we have a contact with because they're developing a, um, a clip for us based on an old design too. But hi, welcome, Gina. I prefer the what's it? Uh, the DCC clips. But look how thick this freaking leather is. But I mean, so this is their mini. And then this is the, I guess they're Would y'all be interested in having these for As sale? A drop like, down? A, like a drop Like an add-on? But look what he did. Look what he did. He put a DCC 2.1 on it. I sent him a freaking pile full of DCC clips to do the 1.5 so that you could wear this thing. Imagine how comfortable this would be, IWB. Man, incredibly comfortable. So, Rock, we get that all the time. What? Like... A lot of times girls, when they come up to our table, if we're selling somewhere, they'll say, do y'all make throwing knives? It's like, must be a, like a popular thing right now or something. Cause he said he had our sweatshirt on at Panera and they asked if they, if we make throwing knives. Throw the bread, not the knife. Just kidding. All right, Throw the know, knife into the bread. I don't know if you guys can see that there's two different finishes. So the one that this bush one was in, um, I think he called it oak something, but it has the same like texture print as Kydex. I freaking love Kydex. So look, C Dub had to step away. So if you guys are asking questions, hold on to him until she comes back. She had to go do something real quick. So I can't see what you're saying. So I guess now's your chance to be an asshole, and I won't know. But I personally like the look of this one because of the Kydex style print. And then this is his sample that he did with the DCC clips. So what we're going to try to do is, one, get his logo and my logo uh, in the sheath. And then he's coming up with, I don't know if I should show it or not. I'll have it tomorrow, I think. No, he's sending it tomorrow. But it's size for the freaking piranha. I'm so jazzed about the ability to put the piranha in it. And I asked if he could make a micro, and he said he could. I got to show pictures. He didn't say don't show pictures. Can I show pictures? Sure. Camera wise back, so you guys can stop talking shit, so I won't know what you're saying, though. What did you tell him? Lewis? Yeah, I told him if you were commenting to not, now's your chance to be rude. That I didn't know about. Any uh, questions? Can you put one that? IWB right now and show us how well they conceal? Yeah. Hold on. Do they tan? Do they do tan leather? I uh, I don't know. I don't I don't know. I, I you know black is my color, but if we do them, what we'll probably do is have a specific TKL specific sheets because he's never used DCC clips, and I said, could you do that exclusively for us? And from a business standpoint, that doesn't make sense for him. I, I don't. He doesn't have to do People that. People like them. I freaking oh, love Oh, that would be awesome, Hunter. He said I need one for my Malvado. Yeah, that would yeah. be great. Well, this would this would fit your Malvado, especially this micro. All right, so 
Uh, what is this? Oh, I'm just saying. Holy crap. Holy crap for the piranha. So he didn't have a need for one before, but he freaking made it. Look at that. So look how clean the leather work is on that thing. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there it is. So I'm going to get a sample of that this week. He had a bandaid. I wonder if he cut himself with the piranha. He did ask me to send him a dull one, and we had already sharpened all of them. I didn't have one. Um, He's so, liking it. Me too. And I, uh, and you guys let me know. Should we go with the 2.1 or just do the 1.5 that you can use for pocket and belt? Because I think... So if it was a if it was the Mod 4, you could put it like OWB on your belt? It, yeah. Vertically. OWB or IWB. And he also told me that he's got this same model in a cross draw so it's so got loops couldn't, a person couldn't just put the clip on themselves no because it's between two pieces of leather okay well you probably have to have both options because a lot of people like to carry theirs in like the leather sheath on their side like owb right so that's and why i think the, the mod four would be good look at that can you see that and look it's ambidextrous offer both yeah i think we should offer. yeah that's both. what i think too i'm too fat to do this without can you show that blue and black turquoise or the turquoise and black real quick one more time. Look at this. Could you do it in cross draw? He makes them in cross draw. He's going to send me one. He already makes them. So it's got two sets of loops. So you can put the belt this way or vertical. And now listen, I don't know. They're kind of spendy, guys. They're like 60 bucks, 65 bucks for the small one. That's your cost, right? My cost. So that would be if we made no money we're, off of them. Right. We're going to try to see if we can't negotiate something with them. Whether it's hard to see the color on the with this light. Yeah, that light's too bright, isn't it? Is it better further back? Yeah. It's turquoise. I don't know how to put contrast on it. It's hard to tell. But. The sheath is so comfortable, IWB. So comfortable. I love it. And a lot of people ask for leather. So I've wanted to be able to offer it. I just don't have the skills to make leather. But thank Umberto for getting this started and kicked down the road. Like he bought one for himself and bought one for me to have it shipped. And then the guy said, I want to see if I can make a sheath for you guys. Gina's favorite color from Hoosier Hippie. Nice. Hey, I got you guys photographs. Thanks for sending them of your. Now I know what you look like. Did they send a picture? Yeah. Oh, cool. Pretty sure. Or maybe it was uh, their, their, their screen name had the picture of both of them. I don't know. I thought it was on like Instagram or something. I'm not sure if that was them or not. <laughs> <laughs> that picture uh, reminds me of the birds from Avatar. The what? Birds from Avatar. What is it? Apache? Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I don't know if I've seen that movie. Prefer Kydex, but I understand the leather thing just places blade at slight risk. What? I mean, it's just a, whatever people would yeah, want to get. You can still get the Kydex. This would be an add-on. Yeah, this would be an add-on, a drop-down. Um, anyway, it's vegetable tanned also, so you won't have the corrosion problems that you would have from a regular sheath. If you so choose, this is actually one of my personal combatants that is an 80 CRV and it's just an acid etch. Um, actually, Birchwood Casey gun bluing is what it is. So, this hasn't rusted and it's been in there all week. But I digress. I'm really excited about the possibility of just, you know, to expand the product line because some people want a leather sheath. We do get a lot of people, a lot of requests. Them. Your knife is still going to come with the Kydex sheath. This is just an option for you. If you've always wanted that, I like them. I like that oak, whatever the H. You want to talk about this magic thing? I actually brought it today. Yes. Actually, this is those. okay. So, w back and forth with this guy. I'm not going to tell you who he is or what agency or what outfit or what he does for a living. Just suffice to say that all of him and his friends will mess you up. I'm just saying. So I thought when we were working through the design on this little dagger and the one that I think they're going to go with is going to be 
that Spartan-esque one. This is just the Malvado blade on the thing. So I want I thought you wanted a full grip inside of the ring, but they wanted a full grip with the ring so they could really conceal this because they do some super concealy type of work. So I finally figured out how to have that full natural grip with the ring on the back and forward and reverse. So you've got a full clinch, which I freaking love. So this is so far the final iteration. It's on the way to him for him to feel it. And he's been super, super nice. And I think afraid to ask for changes, but not afraid to say, to ask questions. So I like that we have a resin printer now that we can work through these things. With and that people. was, you based that off of the Malvado. This blade is a Malvado Diver. blade. The other one is effectively two Tonto blades turned Diver back to back. Centini, welcome. Hey, you made it. That's what he said. He <laughs> On said time today. Be able to post before he goes to church. Yeah. By the way, am I still on the list for a V3? I was talking about. <laughs> Maybe he asked to be on the list. I, we're going to release those April 1st. Yeah. See, and part of the reason that you're seeing duplicates, we were hey, not. Rob said, will you please say hello to his son, Robbie Jr. Rob Mezitet stuff. Uh, greetings, miniature measured texture. <laughs> Many measured techniques. I've seen a lot of pictures. Thanks for supporting our gear. Welcome to the program. Welcome to the South, right? Are you guys moving to the South? I don't know. That's not really the same. North Carolina is still Mr. Ed, North. Yes, the new combatant, and we are going to show that also. Holy. We have all those amazing upgrades. It's awesome, guys. The new combatant's hey, awesome. John Hanaris is on. Uh, John, I haven't seen you in a million years. I saw you commented on something the other day. I thought you died. Just kidding. How's that baby? Anyway, don't tell people in public how your baby is. That's what I'm blaming it on. John's been around for a long time. One of our early, early supporters. So welcome to the program, Monsieur. Yeah, if you're still Hanari. around after watching Tim in the early days. Yeah, if you can deal with it. Fan. Like you guys see that video Jared did? Like he put clips of some of like our older videos. So it's like this. It, you see me like. <laughs> and it's like back and forth, depending on what season. Like if it's post uh, Thanksgiving, it's like the bigger Tim. If it's like this time of year, it's Maybe the slimmer two Tim. From John. Wowzers. Wowzers. Congratulations. Congrats. Dapper 1981 is on. Whoa. In. Hey, welcome back, brother. How are things? Uh, okay, so the Agent 001, we're still not sure if we're going to have it on April 1st, right? Did you bring That's the why there's a question mark. Did you bring the resin model of that one? Yeah, I have it. The the final final. You showed it last week, right? I don't know. But I know that the, uh, let me pull this stupid thing up. I put them up there like that because I keep falling down. The uh, Bob DeMarco, his is on the way to him. So there it is. In its finality. Look at this thing. It just disappears like our stuff does melts into your hand heavy jumping i like how the light shines through these things but that's a double so edge is it, it, we just don't know for sure if it's gonna be it just depends on if a lot of things have to happen when you start machining something you got to see if how you're holding it down is going to work, if you're going to get weird vibrations, if it's going to throw the thing off the machine, if you can get the detail you want. I don't know a whole, but whole lot. I know enough about machining to piss off my machinist, and he may be on here. I don't know. He Andrew, may... that dagger actually has some serrations on it. Yeah, one side is serrate, one side is not. Not the Malvado one. You yes, show, but... it does. Oh, it also has them? Yeah, if you look really closely, you can see. See them in the light there. This oh, this section here. But that you don't have the other model. No, because I sent it to our collaborator. Uh, I, show that one too. I only got one of each because I only got one of each. CW make Tim make at least one for me. The agent. Okay, I'll make him do it. Well, we're starting them probably this week or next. You know what the price will be on that. No, but once we get into it, it's all about how long it takes us to make this. But I do think that it will fit in line with our CG stuff. So I think 250, 275, somewhere in that range. Oh, you all... talk about the combatant too. Yeah. The price and stuff. Yeah, 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 
Yeah, we should talk so about it. So people that ordered nice. the combatant, you're you're getting a good deal because we're going to have to raise the price on it. The tooling and the machining is more expensive now. Yeah. So if you ordered on the last drop, you got we're not making money off of that one. Nope. We're breaking even on them. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to make the changes before Cuz you said it's like a CG, like a concept. Yeah, and the so thing is when you when you do all this extra stuff, it makes a better blade, but it also takes longer that's that's the rub right so here it is look at this thing are we looking at it can mm -hmm. you guys see this oh did you bring that guardian yep i did i want to show that i'm really i really this like was that. her idea too so i'm really jazzed about it too so let's get our, our original for comparison so handle platform is going to be the same so the handle's the same. Don't worry yourself with that. We added jimping, and there's a break on this jimping on either side that smooths it out. So you've got, basically, it's smoothed out and then goes into this long swedge where the original swedge stopped here. This is going to make it more piercy and more slicey to go. And it looks more like the mercenary is what we wanted to do. So if you look at the tips side to side, we started doing this diamond shaped tip on the mercenary and then we did it on the FMF and then on the sapper. So having this style swedge reinforces this tip, but it makes it diamond shaped. So it's much stronger than just your standard swedge style tip. Look at the edge height. You see what I mean? See how much thicker this is than this. This thing is so thin resharpening it's 15 thou up to 17 thou so we added two thousands up in here to give it just enough tip strength where you're not gonna have a super brittle tip after you sharpen it but like on the original it's probably 20 30 on some of them maybe even thicker so you can just tell that both of these are sharpened at a 20 degree but see how much taller the edge is on that what did you say the other day to me about the combatant something like basically that you think it's like the best blade that people kind of overlook it because it looks weird. You said you think it looks weird because of the little finger. Grooves I think the stuff. finger grooves. And then the fact that the back of this thing is curved throws. And then I don't know if people don't like it, but this thing is so comfortable in your hand and in your grips. It is gets overlooked because there's really nothing else out there like it, but man, it's so comfortable. Oh, and we did this. So we had added this rounding to the Raider and the Striker because people, when they were doing detail work, it would dig in and kind of cut you. So you see how sharp that angle is? So we added this, thinned the edge out. And I don't know if you can tell by the blade profile. You see, you tell me if I have the angle, right? You see how this one is taller in this spot through here than the new one? I wanted to take all of this out up to the tip to make it more of a fighter style blade and we kept trying and we kept trying and we kept trying to get this out to get the geometry right and i'm really anal about stuff but we finally got this extra crap out of here so you see how the tip looks much more fightery like it was supposed to look all along so i'm very excited about the changes and it's it's lighter because we te we're taking a lot more steel out to get down to this thinner. Did you already mentioned the rounding of that. Yeah, so the rounding, so you don't get. That's a complaint we had. That's about yeah. People. So we're, we're trying to listen, right? So there's a lot more time that goes into making this blade. As we get further into it, we may be able to figure out how to lean up the manufacturing on that, and I don't know. I don't know Gosh, if we can... L, you probably do. I know you ordered most everything we have. You probably have one on order. Yeah. So the picture on the website is still of the old combatant, but this is what's going to be shipping with the January orders. This is the new one. So, and the cool thing is it fits in the old sheath. So if you have an existing one, I love it. I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. Somebody asked the difference between that and the Raider, and then also somebody else asked said like basically not trying to be rude but why do you use adcrv2 
considering it rust and all that kind of stuff? Um, I, I guess the same reason that you use a carbon steel in a firearm is just more ductile and oil your shit. Take care of your stuff. You know, you change the oil in your car, you oil your firearms, take care of your blades. That's just, if it's an important tool to you, when you use it, take care of it. We also offer AEBL as a stainless. If you like that, it's a little harder to sharpen in the field, but from edge retention, they're pretty equal. You know, uh, an ADCRV is very, very, very simple to sharpen in the field. It takes a hair popping edge because it's 0.80% carbon and you can beat the ever loving hell out of it, especially when you cryo it. So it's not rude. I think it's just a lack of education on what the steel is used for and what you're supposed to do with things that you care about. That's just the long and short of that. I'm not driving around in my truck without making sure the air's in the tires, the oil's changed, I got wiper fluid. I like the stuff the, like that. The stuff I don't have to maintain. Yeah, I, I'm a combat guy and I'm used to taking care of my stuff. And we also nickel bore on our blades too. So everything but just the edge is going to be nickel bore on, which is 400 times more corrosion resistant than regular steel. Would you make a full size version like FMF size of that combatant? Um, and Hunter wants to know if you have the adversary here. No, because we haven't cut the bevels in it yet, but that's coming soon. I hope to get those off the machine in the next couple of weeks. And the adversary for so you Rod guys says he thinks the ADCRV holds a better edge than the AU. Yeah, I think it edges it out just a little bit. When you add chromium into the mix, which is how you get a stainless steel, 14% or up chromium makes it stainless. It's just a little more brittle. So that edge, when you put a fine edge on it, doesn't last quite as long as it will on an ADCRV two blade. I have two blades in my possession and waiting on three more. Love y'all's knives from Georgia Gunshed. Thank, Thank you, you, brother. Yeah, we need to get out that area before people realize how awesome it is <laughs> in Dahlonega. I love it there. But anyway, thanks. So that's that's why ADCRV2, it is synonymous with combat and hard use outdoor style we blades. We don't have any blims of those yet because they're just, we just got. Yeah, this isn't even heat treated yet. This is straight off the, I think it's I mean, straight off the machine. will. Wait, we do have some blends. I, I need to take that back, right? We do have some. They're just not. They're not hardened yet. Yeah. We're going to harden the freaking ones that we already know are blemished off the machine. Um, Because I use those for website photographs, for destruction testing, um, you know, just to test them out. For heat treat. Those are the ones I'll break. What's blue still? Uh, I think it's a Japanese steel. Okay, because Freelance said I like blue steel chef knives. Yeah, I've never used it. Some of those like super, I've heard. And also, a, can you please explain the combatant versus the raider? Lots, lots and lots and lots of differences. So did y'all want me to give away the piranha with the current sheath? Where is the current raider? It might be raider? a blim. Oh, Agent one. Warncliffe released question mark. Um. It's allegedly going to be started at the same time the 001 is. So 01 and 02 are supposed to be concurrent. I won't release it for reservation until we see how it goes also. Rocky Mountain. Wish we had one we could give away. We don't have any Taylor's Ridges right now. Is that on the next drop? Yes. We are going to release those on April 1st. Finally. So. There's your Raider versus Combatant. So a lot deeper of a blade. So the Combatant is your classic drop point work style blade. Good for working, cleaning game, EDC task, beating the hell out of in a tra more traditional style shape. So pretty versatile. And if you look at these two side by each, so see the Raider blade is, they're the same length. But you've got a lot more blade thickness here. The combatant's going to be more slicey and more stabby. So this is more belly. So this is a lot stouter. And then you have two finger wells on the combatant versus the single with the little swell at the bottom. And then you've got a straight back on the raider and the back on the combatant's curve. So the combatant has got that shape for your palm. We really don't like have that any building. Raider blends right now. We yeah, we haven't started them yet. I don't know if 
if our Machinas is on today or not, or if he's mad at me about some other stuff. Um, you just never know. But I do know that we were talking last night about some new stuff that C Dub came up with for the Show Guardian. The, people want to see Piranha and Taylor's Ridge. People want to see Raider versus Striker. Tim, you love to tear up my heart by showing black blades. Who do you think that is? It's got to be Ryan. Yeah. Every time I see that Cerakote black blade, I'm like, honey, can we just give this to Ryan? He loves black. Yeah. They're just not as durable. You know what I mean? And then when we, we post colorful stuff, you get stupid people that post things like, oh, you need to focus on making regular colored stuff because your stuff's out of stock. You need to make sure you, <laughs> you need to do it. You need to do what you're told, boy. I mean, here, here's the thing. When you're making a batch of blades, whether you nickel bore on it, whether you Cerakote it black, it takes the same amount of time. Yeah, there is going to be a striker blade on an, on the agent. Yeah, that's what Wait, I... Was... No, it's on the... What did oh. Hunter ask about? I meant to get circle back to that. Adversary. Something about a striker blade on agent handle? Yeah. I thought that was the striker was going to be on the ops handle. Right. The the giant striker blade will be in the Seer series, which will be, um, there's a huge one coming for the mercenary grip and for the ops grip. But I'm hoping to, we don't have anything scheduled out. In my out. opinion, we need black blades over folders. Yeah. I mean, it would certainly be a lot easier to sell a freaking Cerakote blade over something that takes a lot more skill. Because, you know, you're just paying a Cerakote guy to... Ch -ch -ch -ch. $30 from Tom C. Donation for knives giveaways. Thank you so Thanks, much. brother. Yeah, we'll use that for the... Uh, our, I'm going to pop up the word for the piranha. A benevolence fund. Um, somebody want to see a striker next to a combatant? No, people want to see... You need to get down the Taylor's Ridge. This piranha. is not the newest Taylor's. Yeah, but you can at least still but I'll show, show it. it Let's do like. the striker. Mr. Some... Ed also said no folder. Yeah, we, I'm happy to hear that from y'all because we are... we. We're really prayerful about it. We don't want to like yeah, we, there, go there, off track. There's some some rumblings in the background um, about <laughs> this folder. Um, you guys probably know who Jason Pike is. One, he really wants to do the folder. He really wants us to do it with him. And he has a really cool idea around it. We're talking through it. So right now. I don't know, but apparently he told the whole freaking world that we're doing it, and <laughs> that was not something that we approved, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's what's up with that. Striker and combatant, I heard. Lower it. So, the striker's much longer. Um, Definitely want a folder from Gary Ryman. No folder. Say fixed blades from Hoosier Hippie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I... Said, I want the folder. <laughs> yeah. CW knives from Rex one 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 so rex the cw knives are kind of the whole thing that we're talking through pike with so it's very early maybe nothing maybe something we have gained some inspiration through how much you guys reached out to help each other out for the people that are in our the little t kellyan family that needed help so Jason was inspired by that. C Dub and I were inspired by that. I don't know. What I can tell you is that we're going to continue to try to increase production on our fixed blade stuff. We're going to continue to try to release all the new fixed blades at the same rate that we were trying to before. Um, some of that is hindered by manpower, facilities, machinery, you know, all that expensive stuff that. Uh, I would love to release all of our blades super fast, like right now. Um, but that just takes places Lots to do it. Lots of people want the folder. It's like last week. A yeah. lot of people want it. A lot of people don't. Um, um, Anthony Kitchen, this fold, the folder could blow this thing wide open. Yeah. yeah that's And, and that, there you go, Anthony. So that's that's this terrifying thought because um, if the folder, it would probably take off. Because it's a it's a different. I don't think it's away from the identity because that's a combat level folder. It's obviously the mercenary miniaturized. That's why it's named the M two. Um, 
the idea kind of hit you, me. Thank you, Hoosier Hippie. Yeah, thanks for the gift card for the donation. Yeah, really thank you. That. Thank you, guys. And Josh L., another ninety nine ninety nine. Thank you so much. Josh is a very generous human. And I think that there's so many people in our group that are generous that like giving. So, man, that means a lot to us. So maybe more to come on this whole CW thing. And I'm going to tell you something, guys. You have no bigger advocate on the entire planet than that lady behind that camera. She has a heart for people. She will do anything in the world for somebody in need. And Jeremy's on. He said we are concentrating on quality, not quantity. Yeah. So that's what a lot of people want to. People complain all the time on our videos about, well, why'd you say a code or not? You just need to make more damn knives. I'm trying to cuss on these things anymore. That dude is ripping out hundreds of blades a week at a quality that you guys have come to expect. And without, and, and actually we were talking about this this week, or is it last week, or over the last few weeks. He's one human. He's got a helper and sometimes another helper. And Robert Murphy, reality is it's your business. If somebody does not want a folder, don't buy it. Yeah, I mean, CW folder from Mike Friend. Yeah, so that, that there's the polarizing thing. So Jeremy can only do what Jeremy can do. And I learned a long time ago, you don't push somebody that does that damn good of work. You just don't. We've had so many people in this industry and it's been me and him for a long time on this blade making side. And we have learned so much about shit we didn't know shit about. But we've kind of created our own little niche where the, the they're different and people know our stuff. So that really hinders our ability to just put out umpteen million freaking knives. And if we if we made a bajillion more knives, we're not going to make any more money on this end. So it certainly wouldn't be a Hashtag camera queen folder. <laughs> a money grab for us on any aspect of so, it. Because okay, let me get this straight. If I take a, and do the folder and a line of VDC affordable blades that might be possibly made offshore. Oh, man. By an ally. So how many Wait, how many on, people are on, clicking on. off? Let hold me on, just see. Hold on. Let me just, let me just finish this. <laughs> okay. Okay. And we teamed up with Pike. And we did humanitarian work and charity work with it also. Well, I'm going to tell you that's what... Okay. 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 Would, okay. would that be okay if it was a sidearm and not just the TKL brand, a different arm? I mean, in my eyes, yes. That would be a different thing. Um. In the eyes of our base, I don't know. I don't know because, and, and I didn't get to finish having that conversation last night. And this is one of these things that's kind of taken on a life of its own because, look, if, if Jeremy makes a folder, a TCAL folder, y'all motherfuckers can't pay for it. I promise you, it would be so good. But then, then if I pull him to do that, you're going to be like, where the F are my night stalkers? Where's my CGs? When the hell are you guys going to make Ops Hawks again? Ask Riot to make them. Are they Chinese? I think they are because we looked into that. Well, we would want to do like a... But here's, let me back up into, if Jeremy decides to grow his shop three times bigger, he's got to hire three times the employees. Yes, he'll put three times more blades out. Does he want to do that? It's the same question that me and C-Dub have asked ourselves. Do we want to handle more people? Do we want to manage more? I do think that, especially this year, he's kicking some serious ass on the production side and the quality's getting better. You yeah, guys explain that. y'all like about the blades. They it's come from, from him. him being <laughs> I mean, such a good machinist. Yeah, it is. That's the little things that, that are special about the blades. If we counted the hours that go into making the blades, the quality that they are, he ain't making that much money. <laughs> it's just, dude's dedicated. But we are talking about the potential of maybe expanding our capabilities on that side. Um, we have some friends that could help us build bigger facilities. But 
Hashtag knife for the piranha, guys. I, I think... Uh, with the current sheath. I know my capabilities have gotten better as we've done this thing. I, I think he can handle more on his side. I think we can build out and ship and still maintain a level of customer service, but I don't know how much bigger we can do that. And we're kind of out of kids that we can put on payroll. We only have two and one of them's too little. So all of that is like, and you guys know we believe in God. So some of that stuff is like, we just kind of have to leave it where it is and just keep our nose to the grindstone and keep cranking out badass blades. So, I mean, we're bringing the Warthog back this year. So that's going to be taking up some machine time. I think it looks like after September, we're clearing up some room. And I really hope to dive into the Ops series again, because that blade is special. And there's only one dude that can do that blade. And you guys can talk to him right now. That's just, we, we have gotten production help and we can get production help like on the, on the, the new combatant. But there's just certain stuff that nobody else can do. I mean, it just, when you create this market segment that's different and people love it, not everybody can do it. You see the knife, you feel it, you look at it, and you go, oh, that's a TK blade. That's what you expect. Do you have a different expectation for a CW blade? Do you have a different expectation for a... Uh, Jason is like, come to us with this thing that he wants to do and wants to see if we can basically be a, well. a conduit for him. Mm -hmm. And uh, he jumped the shark big time <laughs> when he put that video out. Jason gets excited and just announces it. Oh, uh, he apologized to me later. And he's like, uh, do you have an ops hawk in here that you could show? My personal. Uh, can Somebody wants to see the ops hawk versus the sapper. Oh, man. Joshua, no worries. It will not count multiple entries. It'll only count one. So, so when you Ops Hawk versus what? Sapper? Sapper? Totally, totally different use study. You guys have seen Thomas Alas's video, and you've seen what uh, Dave Everett has said about it, and you've seen what the people that got Ops Hawks from the first run, which was Blade Show last year. This effing thing is so good. Lower it a little bit. It's fast. It's mean. It's nasty. Man, the ops looks so tiny compared. But to it's that, still. But I mean, it's a, big blade. it's a full blade. I mean, it's got a full grip. I've even got room on the bottom. If I had Simeon hands, you've got room, and it's got the glass breaker. And don't ask about the copper screws unless you want to ask Don Mitchum to make you some. Um. But see, it's that classic Tikel Tonto. And that TK Tonto was created in the Ops. No, the all the names are so similar. The Nighthawk by Jeremy Knight. So you know, that's why it, he said he can't um, see the chat because he's listening on his headset, making some CGs, finishing up some CGs. See, you guys, I told you. So what I was telling you earlier, um, I can't see the chat either, Jeremy, and that's probably good because I would lose our I'm customers. I'm the only one that sees the chat. So she selectively tells me if people are dumb, and when they're dumb, uh, Hunter kicks them off, <laughs> and I don't see it because I will cancel orders probably because I have a temper-ishness. It is St. Patrick's Day, for God's sakes. Anyway, um, so the Ops Striker... And the Ops Stalker are so effing good. Yeah, and design. the loss on his review said something like it was the the best. But know, here's the thing, though, and Jeremy can attest to this too. If if we if we start September October, depending on how the schedule is, we were going to start over. Because people go, I need a Raider for Christmas. And I'm like, um, but we got to make Ops Hawks. So we're trying not to chase our ass around like we've done in years past. We want to roll through. That's why you guys will see that trend of everything with a ring blade started in January and then pushed through. And then we're going to get into everything that's got the Raider grip and we're going to push through. And then we're going to get into the Knights Seer, uh, Nightshade stuff and we're going to push through. And that's going to bring us to the end of the schedule on the July. So because Jeremy's been busting his ass, 
instead of dropping the Bushman and the Accomplice in July, I'm putting them on this April one because I think that we'll be able to push further can into you, that. Can you grab that old Taylor's Ridge? Yeah, that that ugly bastard. I don't even have a new Taylor's. Well, you can still show the, sh the basic look. Um, so I would like to put some focus. What was it? Um, Piranha mm -hmm. and Taylor's and a Bushman and Taylor's. Oh, Jeremy's going to make some of your night guards with the high grind. Did you bring that? I brought the proto, the plastic prototype. That guardian is awesome. It was her idea, people. Do you have a warthog down here too that you can show? Yeah. Yeah, those are going to be on the April 1 drop. But keep in mind, so this wedge that's on the Raider. Ha ha, uh, in honor of today, your name is officially Timothy O'Kell. <laughs> hey, that's what our name was before they changed it when we came over on the boat. For real. <laughs> they dropped the O because everybody knows the Irish were the original persecuted uh, immigrants in this country. They were the first that got shat on. Not to the degree that others did, but still, that's what happened. Uh, Warthog, you asked for? I mean, my God, trust me. Uh, we would love to make all of the blades at the rate that you guys would like to buy them. But what we don't want to do is make garbage. What was the piranha you showed? What color was that? I believe that was the uh, Fury, the black blue and blue. Black pearl. Mm -hmm. It'll be called Fury. I know I keep trying to finish the sentence. The website is done, but we're associating all the pictures with the builder. And we were going to launch on April the 1st. But I don't want to do the blade drop on the same day that people have to learn a new website, which would confuse a whole lot of freaking people. So we're going to hold and do that the week after. I know I keep saying that shit, but we are. Uh, what else? What was I asked about? So you have that guardian oh, thing? Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> it's not going to be exactly like this because I was a little bit too crazy with my drawing. but. So this, you guys, it's crazy to me. I right, look. Here, hold that one for me. That's with the extended grip. These are the same blade blank. All we're doing is taking metal away from the one on the top. Putting a drop down in it to get that real FMA style hard forward press. Or if you like Janet's fighting style, that Marshall blade it concept. Like a totally different knife. But it's look, it literally is taking meat out of the blade. So this is the Guardian. Did John send that? Maybe Jeremy can answer it. it, it I don't know if John sent him a geometry. He's supposed to. He might might not have. I like how half our company's on the stupid lies now. It really cuts a lot of he crap out. I've said I need one of those. I'm sure he has a Guardian, a regular so one. So it's a high grind. So a lot of people are confused about the theory behind this. It's a pressure cut. And Put honestly, above, like your head, because it's not focusing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where you back up a little bit so you can. It always wants to focus on your face. Did it get it? Yeah. It's... I'm trying to block it. Love my guardian, the most wicked knife I own from Freelance. Okay. So, Freelance, what do you think then? Since you have one of these with this heavy freaking thing, what would you think about a true Warney with a higher grind and an actual. You know, typically a worn cliff has got a brittle tip, but this keeps that from having a brittle. It would be single edge. We're going to do some samples. I think we're going to do them in the uh, night guard. So the ringed version, we're going to put this blade. We're going to do a high grind version. Is the Bushman on the April 1 drop also? It is. We moved it. I moved it up. So if you... Hope to have these on the table at Blade Show, but we're we're nearing two months out from Blade Show, so I'd like to have them out there side by side to get some feedback. If people say, "Hey, yeah," single edge question mark. Yeah, single edged. It would uh, be single edge. And I said it'll make it really nice for cutting. It'd be a slicer. You're right. You are 100 percent right. Uh, Tim, please rewind back to the explanation of how worn cliffs cut. Take my money. I love the update from Stephen Clayton. Yeah, people so like it. All right. So, Explain the pressure cut. So a pressure cut, when you push in on a steeper angle that's still really freaking sharp, that skin will 
Bust. Coffee time from Brandon Maple. How can you tell, bro? I feel it so hard. Like I need <laughs> caffeine so bad. That's why I'm like, uh, I. <laughs> you know me too well. So when you, a pressure cut, when you put pressure on something, the skin is pushing back against that blade, and it's more of an acute angle. So when it pops, it it pops it open. So putting a hard forward press into a blade and onto that, it really devastates skin meat more so it's harder to put back together stuff like important right now because i'm about to do this drawing I, i'm showing stuff that could get us kicked off <laughs> no, you're not. i'm saying stuff oh. so a thin thin is a slicer right so it's just quick and fast and there, there's so much argument about pressure cuts versus slices um so the original design behind that blade angle on the Guardian. Y'all make sure to enter the giveaway. It's hashtag knife. I don't think I have to show the word again. I'll be drawing. You guys know how to spell knife. I hope. So part of the beef behind the, the night guard and the Guardian is it's got that heft and that blade heavy. So you just touch it and it, you guys have seen the pork man test that I did. That stuff just pop, pops open like crazy. So it's a different use point. But what usually happens with a guardian is, or a guardian with a worn cliff is this tip is so thin. So we'll talk about a little scienceiness. Hey, Hunter, that's actually, I wonder if it would be, I could set you up to do a giveaway over there for us. Yeah. For the Discord people. Yeah, but then people will complain. If you're interested in that, Hunter, so let me know. Look how a tonto, all of the thickness of your stock is at the top of the blade because you're sharpening from bottom to top. So that means the top of a Tonto is why it's so good of a piercer, because it's, it's the thickest point on any blade is closest to the spine, more meat. A worn cliff is the opposite. So you're putting that tip all the way out and you remove more material to get your bevel in, which makes the tip very, very thin. However, they're a devastating slicer because the thinnest part of the steel less pressure behind it cuts better if you listen to guys like michael janich they'll tell you it's a defensive knife don't use it for anything but that if you break the tip buy another one your life is worth it so there you go so hunter yeah you could do that do a piranha over there uh blim and then this is we'll comfortable it. Yeah, just let us know who wins so fma style grip or a very hard forward press janich will put this bump on the back of his blades like the Yojimbo, which is a brilliant it's idea. It's hard to really see that because of it being black. But maybe that'll help. So yeah, this funny. drops down. So it still gives you that bump. I really want this aggressive jimping in it, but we're going to have to break this with like a 10 thou or maybe even a 20 to keep it from being like a damn serrate on your thumb, but still give you traction. So... We Carl can... says, damn, I work in the ER. Hopefully I never want to be responsible for fixing up a warny wound. Thanks for the explanation, Tim. Love the educational side of Tim. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, everybody that's involved with us cares about that stupid little detail level of stuff. All right, doing the drawing. She's drawing. She's drawing. Where's my drink? I'm for sweating like a pig. Piranha with the current Do we have time for me to make coffee? No. Probably not. We're like 15. Pete's sake. What do you win? A piranha. Do you need one? <laughs> <laughs> hey, congrats, congratulations, Pete. Brohan. Which is weird. He he is a big supporter and friend of Tim. Yes. Yeah, Clayton, do that. Can you launch your own discussion on Patreon? Um Steven's got this idea about how to fundraise. And did you want to show this full handle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, so the century grip would work on that, right? Yes. So here's what we want to do. I don't know what we're able to do. And you guys understand that behind it it when you good. hand grind a blade, it's completely different in, you know, you're holding it up against a belt and a flat platen, and you can support this tip. But when you use a machine that's pushing down on something, you have the tendency to do this and then it vibrates and you've got to find a way to hold that blade still and down to your fixturing when a hand grind person 
would be hold, supporting that blade with their fingers. So I know I used to piss Jeremy off, and I'm like, if my human hands can do it, can't your magic machine do it? And <laughs> that's the kind of stuff that people like me piss machinist off. But you put your hand behind it. I don't know how high the grind's going to be. I don't know where he's going to be able to get a hold of it. Some other, you know, everybody's got a million answers. Somebody else told me, use Mighty Bites. I don't know what the F that is. So, okay. I don't know. Sounds like uh, dog bones or something. <laughs> it's something. So, I don't know what we're going to collaboratively come up with. But, we're going to try to do a higher grind and see what we got. I would like somewhere between, you know, a... Uh, I, I, 11 degree angle would be great like inclusive so three to five i don't know we'll see we got about 15 minutes left did you show uh, oh. everything you wanted to show back there so we complete no we completed this grip that goes over for a full grip on the raiders the warthogs the um taylor's ridge striker and guardians so it gives you a full grip and are we ever going to offer I those? want to get the damn thing so bad from our G10 guy. And I'm like, you, it's been a year. Can you please just, can I have them? We, we have a lot of <laughs> requests for him all the time. Yeah, and he's, he hates me. I'm, I feel fairly confident. Mm -hmm. Dealing with a creative person. So basically, we're, we deleted this hole in the back and then put it down here. And then this wraps around a la century grip so you get a full grip so it, it some of the people want a fuller grip so it's neat right they look like totally different blades but they are the same blade pretty freaking rad um a lot of people will probably really be interested in that full handle yeah i mean we could really expand the line tremendously by doing the full handle who, Did we show everything that we brought to show? Nope. <gasps> so this is in resin only. So don't get excited. I don't know where the hell we're going to do this or how we're going to do it. But we finalized this design. So it's a skeletonized blade. And then John, my engineer friend, and I have been working on this for months, really. It's got full jimping on the back. This thing is 125 thick, so ultra freaking thin and slicey. But look at this. So when you pop the grips off, it takes that hole out. So you have a skeleton knife. So it's a That's hunting, so cool. hunting backpacking style blade. Do they just pop on or do they screw on? The, so the screw is the front one. You see, I don't know if you can tell there's a shelf. So it sits in there and you'll be able to carry it either way. See how it just kind of snaps in? And then you'll put your lashing screw. So this will be the point that holds it into the blade through that lashing screw. And then this will be the front because it's got a shelf. It'll keep it in there. So you can still have light weight. And we went with, typically we'll do a 3 16 round over on these. But this is a lot less so that it fills the hand more. And we can get our hardware in there like that. So. I want to make this so that we can break into that outdoor EDC lightweight backpacking market, but still have a thick grip for you guys that would want to EDC a blade like this. And it would be probably AEBL. It's super neat. I love it. That's the one that was going to be in the 3V. Yeah, we were going to try to do it in 3V. Oh, uh, we're know. not now? I don't know what the hell we're doing. Anything else? What are you more? thinking now, Nitro V? I mean, the AEBL. It's really been embraced by the industry, and we work it so well. It, we don't really have to change a whole lot to do that. But look at it, you know? I mean, damn. That's pretty sweet. I'm really super excited. I basically have a million and a half designs that need a home that if I gave them all a home, Jeremy would quit because he would be exasperated i don't have that many hours in my life to make all the shit you want to make so yeah i mean we've got this one two this four five six seven 
eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You count all your knife designs. So there's 12 designs that are either expansions on ops, agent, combatants, FML. I guess that, that line is going to be called the seer that started with the mercenary. Look, the mercenary and the FMF are two incredible effing blades. They're so good. I mean, Old Sword said on his review that he thought that FMF was the best field knife. We played hell getting that thing right, too. Because the geometry that I wanted that done in is very difficult to accomplish. But, again, that's the reason Check that... Out UG Tools German knife maker for 3D printed titanium grips from Andre Barthels. Yeah, I've seen some of that and I've seen some of the like uh, centered titanium. Like I have a centered titanium, which is 3D printed and bonded titanium uh, suppressors on order that apparently people are getting suppressors in two weeks. But for me, it's been Freelance like, said the FMF is his favorite knife ever. I'm telling you, it's so damn good. Yeah, and when these reviewers say, like, when they give it a place, like, number one, this or that, in that category, like, they're... They're not getting paid to do that. Yeah, they just say it. Like, these guys that have reviewed our stuff, 99% of the time, they reach out to us because we've grown, and they want to be part of whatever we're doing, and they're not getting affiliates, well, so any of They're not getting money out. Yeah, like, they don't, because when they talk about it, we don't even have anything. Yeah, it's like Taylor about. Martin loves the piranha. He loves that blade. He's done four videos on it, and he's made this much money off of that blade because he likes it so much. He talks about it on a video, and then people, 100,000 people watch the damn thing like they did last week. Well, and, we have affiliate links, but, but he doesn't get paid. We don't have any. He's stock, like, if I'm going to so. keep talking about your knife, I should at least make some money off of it because I really actually like it. Well, it's always out of stock. Did he say that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he said so, that. There are companies that pay people to talk about their stuff. That's just the reality. Yeah, y'all, y'all, if y'all didn't know that, that's the way it works. Yeah. I'm sure y'all probably know, but I know for me it was all new when we first started doing this. I was like, well, okay. We thought people were just reviewing yeah, blades. We're like, hey, they, this guy's popular. Send him one, and we did. But most most of the time, people are getting sent blades. So what's and, really cool is these influencers. They acted all weird towards us too, right? Like, <laughs> I know Neve and then uh, Stasa and uh, Taylor Martin and Tactical Tavern. I'm like, hey, can I hey, send you a knife? And Dave. So <laughs> we just sent them one. And we didn't know that the standard operation. Standard operation is you offer them some Yeah, you offer them money on the thing. And we didn't. And they were like, man, this blade is really good. Next time I do a video on it, can you please put a link? Because people want to buy them and they're sold out. So we haven't pursued any new affiliate marketing. One, because we're sold out. A paid review is a fake review. Exactly. Is what Rex yeah. 1111 so said. So they kind of did us a favor and they did act really weird. Like, I guess. But then they got our stuff and liked it. Right. So you'll see yeah, you're, you guys are right. But also you just have to be aware that most of the time when people are talking about stuff a lot, I mean, I don't want to say most, but the majority they're getting sent the stuff or they have some sort of incentive. So in the case where there are other cases, I do want to be devil's advocate where like in a case of say Jared Neef, he genuinely loves our stuff and later on said, Everybody else is giving me an affiliate link for when I talk about their stuff, they get a percentage. I get a percentage of the sales. Can can you guys do that? We literally created that program because of that question. Yeah, we didn't even know what we didn't know what that crap was. Striker versus Raider, what would be the better for self-defense from Jason Whitson? Striker. It's a thinner, longer blade. It's got the that deep swedge all the way down the back, make Stasa, it better for piercing. Stasa bought his piranha. Yeah, now Stasa has so bought everything. He's bought like all his we, stuff. Yeah, he did. We haven't sent him anything. He bought him. his FLN. He bought all his favorite stuff. Yeah. And I, I wonder. Actually, if, I tried to give it to him, and he's like, "No, let me buy it." He's a super nice oh guy. Oh my gosh, he's so nice. We were one of his first stops at Blade Show last year, and he's like, "I came by to get a piranha." We're like, "Holy crap, we're sold out of them." Yeah. Because he didn't want us to give him one. And I think he ended up 
he with bought my one, personal. but it was like one that had a some sort of a blemish on it, didn't it? No, that was Taylor Martin. Oh, okay. <laughs> the one he got had the blem on. But Stasa did pick one up, but he paid his money for it. He didn't want a discount, none of that. So I shouldn't say all. I don't even think. So people are falling in love with our stuff, and then they're coming back and asking for affiliate links. Because what's happened is they're getting a lot of traction on this video, and then people are like, they're always sold out. Here's the last. We're going to do the giveaway for the turquoise and black. Can you show that engraving that's on there again? Uh huh. Put your hand behind it. Did so I miss it. anything? Oh, I did miss what the trade I did with Steven, but I don't know that that really matters. Yeah, shut up. You like that Riyadh. Oh, man, I've been wanting one of these for so freaking long. What was I supposed to show? What did I do with it? I lost it. Coffee, my God. Yeah, I mean, giving a knife to somebody that has a big platform like that is not like. That's different. It's not a bad thing. I mean, it's so because like if if nobody knows who you are, how is somebody going to know who you are? I think giving them one say, hey, check this out. Tell me what you think. Well, like we did. Put in, your hand behind the engraving in, thing. And genuinely, and then, I like my stuff well enough, and I think you will too. Push it up. A That's bit different more. than you'll be able to tell. Like some of these channels, like I love this knife by this company, and they say only that company and ten of their different stuff. Okay, you can't see it. Whatever. Oh, wait. Well, okay. All right. Me... So here's the word for that night. It says preparation prevents regret. Apache. Apache. And why do you call it that? Why do I call that? What do we want the politically correct answer or the real one? Um, I spent a lot of time in the West when I was a kid. And I always, we would stop on some reservations and we, my mother loved buying turquoise jewelry. And that's what it made me think of. And I always thought the Apaches were badasses, right? What's your politically correct the answer? The politically correct answer is look at all the names of all of our knives are military inspired. It has nothing to do with the Native Americans. It's named after a helicopter. How dare you say that to me? So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like all those people that say. Yeah, like nice you remember stalker. Chief? Remember Chief Nakahoma from the Braves? He'd be out there in his TP at center field, and every time they'd hit a home run, he'd come out and do his yeah. Braves dance. Well, they they outlawed all that because that's not sensitive to their stuff. So if that offends you, I am truly sorry. It's a helicopter. If it doesn't, it's turquoise. Well, why would it offend? Is that a people find ways to get offended? They can't figure out what equipment they have in their pants. How are they gonna figure out how not to be offended about stuff? I mean, I don't understand people. Like John MacArthur. If you look down there and can't tell. You're an idiot. <laughs> which you are. <laughs> look, you guys know how we are. Just kind of take it or leave it. So how many did we have before I said that? You lost them all. They all left. Just kidding. <laughs> <sighs> you know, this Kroger fuzzy water is pretty good. I put my sweatbands on. We call it fuzzy water. It makes it sound like it's like got mold on it or something. <laughs> I call it fuzzy water because I'm retarded. So Lee said that that bottle cover thing that he did. This is so punk rock. I'm going to cut a hole in it and wear it like that. <laughs> um, The bottle cover, he said, fits on a wine bottle. Does that mean it'll fit all the way up my forearm? Let's see. We call it static water. Oh, Matthew McCann. No. What kind of lies are you telling, Lee? He's probably at church right now. Doesn't offend me at all. I identify as an AH-64. That's a helicopter. Oh. <laughs> that's the, that's I the name. I identify as a T. Killian from Adam Keevy. I think this would probably make your hands go numb. Oh, it's like a gauntlet. This is really he, what kind of wine bottle? You're gonna bring back the defender. You were just telling me that yesterday. So here's the thing: Jeremy made the Tonto version of the nightshade, and we only made a small run. Anthony Kitchen says he's a native and it doesn't bother him. Well, good for you. And I, and if it hey, really did, I would honestly for complaint jar from Andrew Braun. I honestly would be apologetic if it bothered you. Because I don't want to be. Well, I just a didn't know that it would be offensive because it, they make turquoise jewelry. So, or turquoise is part of their. 
Even um, Hunter was saying that that's Arizona's, I think, gym or something. You know where my, my aunt and uncle live? Tucson. That's why. Mm -hmm. But I, I am going to say this, and, you know, camera wife knows what I have said about this many, many times. What we have done, what we did and still continue to do to the indigenous peoples of these lands is effing deplorable. Deplorable. Hey, we'll do better stuff with your land. We're going to take it. It's for the it's for the community good. Here's where you get to live now. And then you get surprised that they want to come kill you when you're sleeping. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. I don't. We got a pretty rough history in history. So I hate revisionist history, too. Like, let's forget about those things and let's take down the statues of this stuff. So we forget about the stupid stuff we did. So we don't learn from it in the past. Well, were these things right? No, and we don't need to do them again. So um, before people get really pissed about migratory people from all this other stuff, you need to understand and look into why all these white people live here. Because <laughs> those are Nordic people. Anyway, so back to the Defender. All of human history is pretty effing rough from freelance. It sure. From Gina. As hell is. Greater good never works out from Stephen Clayton. That's so fucking Marxist, too, to be like, get out of here. This new government that just took over is going to do a better job than you do with your land. That's what we did, people. All the names oh, around here, too. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. So the Defender... I used to sharpen these to this angle. Oh, that's so sad, Gus. So. Easy. YouTube is listening from Andrew Braun. Yeah, they'll cut us off in a minute. For what? Am I being if bad? Anything that's not what they think is good. Man, you need to listen to the Warrior Poet most recent broadcast about all that stuff. I listened to it this morning. Awesome. So good. Uh, you know what I listened to this morning? What? Mark Driscoll re-released re that old video that I showed you like 10 years ago. Oh, that old one well, he's he super angry. Yep, oh, awesome. I love that one. So uh, I used to sharpen this solid blank to this angle. And I told Jeremy, please put the freaking bevels in them for me to save me some time. So I did. And this was the result. But the... Reverse Tonto and the Warncliffe were selling so well, I never released the nightshades in a Tonto. So these were the only ones that I made. And there were, at that time, we were doing super small batches, so probably 50, which used to piss him off. But I thought about doing this again. But I think there's other stuff you guys would rather have, you know, like Ops Hawks. But hey, I think it's cool shouldn't be that hard to bring it back though because he already did it before well it's just it takes up machine time and does it outsell other stuff yeah are we what was it we were what were you laughing at oh no I, I was laughing at wacko jr he's, he's being inappropriate it, you know the stink stripe and just funny stuff people you see she didn't want to say that she's he laughing at you choke on their own stink stripe that's what he <laughs> see she didn't want to tell me because she hates that phrase that we came up with on this thing I'm here to shamelessly beg for the Ops Hawk to come back from Jordan Jacobson. I, I, I mean, we have intent on doing them later this year. I don't think they will be done in time for Christmas. And if we do decide to break ground on putting more stuff over there with Jeremy, that shit ain't going to be done in time anyway. That's like next year's Jan production said, impacts. FYI, my buddies love their defenders I gave them. Carry them all the time. Yeah, so you, Jan did them dull, right? They weren't even sharp. These things, if you guys saw that old video where I'm hitting our basketball goal, this thing will, ouch. Yes, Ed Barkley, they will be available for what? What? reservation. What? what? Um, the Warthogs. Go look on the website. The two little question marks, we don't know. We don't know. Do we have any of those left? I'm pretty sure that was the last one, those defenders. I don't want to name drop, but we sent the last one to somebody this week that's a patron. I'm not going to, because they're on here. Well, we didn't send it yet, but we sharpened it yesterday. I sharpened it yesterday. And you guys did a wait on hand, handmade sheaths. 
She freaking cracked the whip and made me spend half the day in the shop doing those <laughs> damn handmade sheets yesterday. But I'm going to tell y'all, I say this every time I make those handmade sheets. Every time I go, damn, I make a good sheath. I and love them. Said, next time we do reverse tontos, maybe we could swap 100 out for 100 of those. You think they'd be that popular? Would y'all want us to take 100 of the reverse tontos and do these instead? Keeping in mind that it's going to push the Ops Hawks back, you circus animals. How interested are y'all in these? Patreon, really. Um, can you show the FMF side by side of the mercenary? We're a little over two hours, so it's all right. People should ask questions. It's not like I'm caffeine deprived and about to fall over. A lot of people are saying, yeah, that they would be interested in that. It's cool. It's I know really that cool. the reverse tonto is a big seller. It's crazy like popular. It. You guys don't know when we're doing these drops, I'm only selling a quarter of what he's making. And that's why we're able to release Night Stalkers and Piranhas and Raiders and Strikers and CGs and Hawks two times so far this year. Because that dude is making blades while C-Dub and I are selling and talking about blades while you guys are entertaining yourselves. <laughs> that's what we're doing. Rider 308. I'm not aware of being able to i think patreon has a feature where you can chat but we've never tried it i think it's only on the app we haven't done it so look here's the two here's the grip same grip platform the fmf what really makes this so special thing, that too. makes it hard is that this tip needed to be thick but we wanted a slicey blade so we kept pushing this forward and moving this crap around to where we could get that diamond shaped tip that we really liked on the sapper so geometry you guys see how this is thinner here and thicker up there that's so this blade will slice your freaking arm off but Lots still of people pierce. talking about loving their reverse tontos. Yeah, the reverse tonto is a great, great, great blade. <laughs> Discord is very active thanks to our seven-year-old overlord hunter. What a weird chick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah, Hunter is right. It was it's not as easy, it's not as user-friendly, but the Discord seems to be pretty easy for you guys to chat with each other. So let's look at the original folder. And why people say stuff like Stick with fixed plates. All right, so here, let's look at everything that's on this handle platform. So this is an AEBL blade, nickel boron, made by us. This is ours, the original. Well, not the original original. Anyway, two years in the making and the other one's three years. So here's the mercenary. See the blade? Same blade, shorter, same grip. I wanted to use the exact same scales, but we couldn't because we had to get the pivot up in this area because geometrically this wouldn't fit inside the handle if, the, if it pivoted right there. So mini mercenary, mercenary blade, mercenary handle, and this is the same thickness this way because it'll have the same feel. Same goes, FMF, M2, so these three are all on the, and that's the problem was the button got sticky and we can't really punch the dude in the head that did that because he was supposed to help us make them and then he quit. But anyway, he's still a good guy. Um, so don't forget to do this last giveaway. I'm going to do the drawing in just a minute. So these were all uh, hashtag combat hashtag. inspired blades and we did that one because everybody in the world asked me to do a folder and two i know for a fact the marine corps issued some strider folder knives in a combat role so it has been done i don't really feel like that's a huge departure from our identity but what i do feel like is it it, it can potentially be a fool's errand and detract so much of our linchpin people's time it would shut everything the, down. The piranha sheets are not done yet. Zach. They are not done. We are. If you want your piranha now, if you have one on order, we can ship yeah, it with the current. Yeah, we got sheath. a bunch. We got a bunch of the old sheaths. Part of it is 
getting the aluminum in to cut the molds to make the sheath. Part of that is, and also part of it is the fact hey, that we're do slammed. Have you the blue and black grips on that piranha since those are harder for people to order online? I know we're out of Hades, but we could do the blue and black. That'll be a, like a special handle color. I can just take that one right there. Yeah. And did you guys hear that? Everybody. I screwed up. I screwed up. I screwed up. I'm going to say it again before we leave. Um, I thought we were making AEBL blades, but I didn't order the steel. So we made the people that ordered AEBL piranhas rather than shut down what we're doing now. We're pushing on with the schedule and you're going to get a Nitro V. There's only 50 people that that's the case. I'm sorry. I need to send an email to those 50 humans. Nitro V is not a downgrade. It is so freaking similar to AEBL. I could have lied to you and just engraved AEBL on it and moved on about my life. Walk but the street. then you make I our sleep. Sunday morning fun. Get your coffee. <sighs> All right, let's do this drawing for this beautiful. You'll be the first person to get the new turquoise and black grips. Outside of the shop. Yep. Yep. Well, unless Hunter gets his first. Do you guys want to hear the truth about how those came about? We have to tell him. I don't remember. The turquoise? Yeah. How, what? Okay. So we post this picture of this Nighthawk oh, yes. with these grips on them. Know. And the guy that takes our photos for the website changed the lighting so much that the blue and black Kevin ended up. C. Congratulations, Kevin C. C. Kevin C., you won the beautiful Apache Night Here, Doctor let's go. Prevention Prevents Regret. So I'm sorry for the person who ordered it with this engraving. There's going to be another one out in the world, but there's a little slight uh, spine scratch there. Under the nickel boron. So he edited the coloring because there was a glare on the picture for an Instagram post. And it ended up looking turquoise. And I love the picture. So everybody in the world was like, oh, my gosh, I love the new turquoise grip. So I'm like, oh, shit, we better order turquoise. Well, so you we had said you had heard that they had that color. I knew they had it because they sent me a sample that was the black and the robin's egg blue swirl. But they had put aluminum through it or copper. Kevin C., send us some emails so we can get you taken care of. Gina Thornborough, Thornburg. Is that available for order? Um, the It's not on the website yet. We Here's the thing. So black screws, out. all the burl grips, other than Warrior and um, Multicam. I know I keep saying the stupid website's launching next week, next week, next week. Now I'm saying a few weeks because we got to get it right. The finish line. Apparently, I love paying for two websites a month. I love doing that while being sold out of blades. And three weeks away and from a drop. 66. That's what Hunter said he was going to do. If we could get some copper screws, it would be very Arizona. Um, Pete Sake wanted to know what grips were on that. Taylor's Ridge. Those are we OD green anymore, is it? No, isn't that like Coyote or that? something? Maybe he asked about a different blade. Is that what you asked about? For Pete's sake, get it right. That's OD Maybe green. he asked about something else and I got her. A warthog. Sorry, warthog. I think that's gunmetal. It just looks weird with the lighting. Yeah, it's gunmetal. Usually he'll text me. I guess he hates me. <laughs> or I just never answer. <laughs> yeah, that's gunmetal. Gunmetal looks, looks really, really good, good on that black that blade. Black. Sorry, Ryan. Don't kill yourself. These are the old screws. These are so the originals. So we can't get Warrior Grips. Yes, we can get, we do have Warrior yeah, Grips. Yeah, Warrior and Multicam are on the website now. We just haven't put the, and Gray Man. We haven't put the Gavali, the Javadi, which is, if you guys want to know the purple and black name Javadi, that's a uh, infantry unit in the IDF. And that, that name for that grip was chosen before all the crap happened in Israel, but I still support them, so I don't really care if you don't like it. Um Blue and black we had, but we hadn't released yet. That's going to be called Fury. And the Brimstone, black and red, and now the Apache. Those are all going to be available for order on the website, but we can accommodate special requests as well as the black screws that are black nitride, which is incredibly durable. We got to jump off. We're over about 15 minutes. Is that a rule? Well, 
How many people are hanging on for two hours? Um, 230. Just saying, guys, we have more people on our lives when, I did than wanna, huge channels, and that's incredibly cool. Yeah, and when are you going to do your Pew Pew live on Rumble? Well, the, 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 the studio is now set up to do that stuff. So, Trent Doris, I want my knives. It said two weeks. <laughs> you didn't read the bright we were yellow button. About that earlier, Trent. Let, let me it, do this for you, it, Trent. It, it, since you want to troll my no, freaking he's not trolling, broadcast, he's he he ordered it. Don't be rude. No, that's rude if you don't read. I can't help he, you. It's a confusing thing to people because it says on an email, or it says in stock blades are two weeks, but if it's a reservation, it's three to six months. See that about a sixteenth of an inch below the purchase. It's all button. like it's all bright. Better. Better? You may have missed that, Trent. If you want to email us, we can look and see where you're at in line. See? And 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 he put laughing places. He was just joking. Oh, sorry, Trent. Sometimes I'm slow when people are joking. Yeah, see? I hate that. Sorry, I have to apologize. I'm temperamental. I apologize, Trent. <laughs> Probably did that shit on purpose because he knows me. All right, guys. See, Pete didn't do that this week. Usually he'll say stuff to intentionally try to make me angry because he thinks it's funny which is pretty funny sorry no coffee either i kind of think it's funny though that it's like off the <laughs> and i say mean rude shit and she calls me out and then i double down and then people are like okay asshole cancel my order sarcasm does not translate on here yeah and i'm also really slow so y'all forgive me sometimes <laughs> i don't get jokes like tim tells me something i'm like what Oh, okay. That was a joke. It's just dude stuff that she doesn't get. That kind of things. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, I guys. Have a great, have a great week. week. I'm sure I'm going to be inundated with emails for black screws, turquoise grips, and where's my shit? It's been three and weeks. And copper screws. And FLNs. Oh, I'm so ready to be done with that project. I'm going to kill myself with an FLN. Bye, guys. Bye. Is this thing on?